Reality, Wintermute. Resume. Okay, so again, I think we are still left in episode three. Um, which is interesting because I was hoping that we were at episode four. Um, I have no idea what things were. Current mission, locate and return the missing survivors, add supplies to the Hall's kitchen storage, search Joplin, Joplin's caches for extra supplies. Okay, I have no idea how to play this game again because it's been so long. Um, but clearly we still had quite a few things that we had to do in um, episode 3. I'm not sure why I never completed this then. It's kind of weird because I love this game. It's such an amazing game and I remember playing it. Uh, but I'm not sure why all of a sudden I was like, yeah, you know what, I'm going to stop playing it and I never continued with it. That's kind of sounds like not, not like me. Um, but I'm guessing that we are here. I think. Um. Alright. Okay. Let's have a look around. Um, how do I grab... Again, I haven't played this game in over two years, so forgive me if I'm not sure, again, what certain um, buttons were. Let's see. Radar menu, quick stats, auto walk, status, clothing, equip. Start fire, screenshots. Oh, wait, interact and shoot, place, aim, throw, crouch and sprint. Okay, so interact and shoot is left mouse button. So can I grab this? I can, okay. Oh wait, I'm already carrying too many things. Okay, I'm guessing I'm gonna take that. Um, open locker search. Empty firearm cleaning kit. I'm going to take that as well. Water bottle. Nobody needs this anymore. Nobody needs this anymore? How am I doing on what? Oh, wait. I can, I can actually drink that. Let's drink that. All right. Dog food. I mean, I am a puppy, but I'm not sure like if I would want to eat dog food. So I'm going to leave that, I guess. Although, That's you know what? carry much more. You know what? I'm going to eat it because it's better than having nothing. That's also what the game said. Like, it's better to eat something than to eat nothing and starve. So. Okay, and then we can eat this as well. Hey, who knows? Maybe it tastes tastes amazing. Um, so for those of you who have never seen me play this game, um, this is a game called uh, The Long Dark. And basically, it's a survival game. Um... Ooh. Note found in bunker near Skeeter's Ridge. Should we read it? The storm's coming. No one knows when, but I can smell it. Can't stop it. All a man can do is hide out when it blows over. Okay, cool. Um, so basically this is a survival game. And the story is that we are we have been in a plane crash and we are trying to survive. We were together with someone else and we kind of trying to survive while trying to find each other. And we ha get a what happened last time. Yeah, so um, in episode two, uh, the male character that we play with was actually um, taken hostage or that he was taken, you know, prisoner or captive by a group of, you know, evil people. Uh, now in episode three, which is the current episode, we are playing with the female character of the game uh, who was who is in a... Uh, she's in a church... And we try to find survivors and bring them back to the church so they can survive. And then we can move on uh, because there's a storm coming and then we can move on to um, like, you know, go and, and, and continue our journey. Then I believe in episode four, which is the one that is, has released today, we're actually going back to the male character who has been taken prisoner by this group of people and he needs to escape and survive that as well. Um, that's how much I know. I remember now you do actually nice. Okay, so a coming storm. Objective. Okay, so these are my objectives. So I need to still add, I think, these things to the kitchen. And I need to return survivors to the community hall. So I think I need to find these items, I guess. Put them in the kitchen. I think we still have a lot of things that we need to do. Like, I'm honestly sort of feeling that we are nowhere near finished with this episode, which kind of makes me wonder why I never completed it. Uh, and what do I have? Antiseptic, old man's beard, dressing, calories from food or drink. I was a firewood or other fuel, bandages, kerosene. Like, do I have any of that with me? I do have food. What's this? Airline food, chicken. 
Yeah, I mean, I have quite a bit of food that I can probably give to the kitchen, seeing as I'm, like, carrying way too much stuff. Um, alright. Let's see, workbench. Wait, can we actually make something? Bandages, do I have any? In the plugs, and we have that. Okay, so I can't really make that much, okay. We have found, search that. Metal shelf. Okay, so I think we've searched everything. Jerry can. Must be prepared for anything. Containing fuel for oil, uh, old lamps. It is uh, almost a kilo. Uh, and I'm carrying too much as it is. So let's just leave that. And I think this first aid kit, I think I've... Oh, I haven't taken the bandages. Okay, let's take them with me. Lantern fuel? Okay, I'm gonna take that as well. And I think I have a lantern, so I'm guessing we should be good. Um, okay, I'm not sure where I am, but let's just leave this area to see where we can go to next. So one major component to this game is um, time and, and food, basically. Like time, food, and um, clothing. Okay, where are we? Okay, we are here. Um, and our objectives are all the way down here. So we need to go back to community hall. We also need to go here, I think. But these, I think these are like optional things that we can do. I think the main important thing is to find like these survivors. So maybe we can walk like this way, go through here, find the survivors and then go back. I think that's the plan. The downside is with, like, you know, with this game and with, like, you know, the way that it's set up is that it's, uh, there's also, like, you know, like, there's there's temperature you can see in the lower left-hand corner behind my wolf. There's, like, a temperature bar there, um, which actually, let me um, move him over a little bit so you guys can actually see that. Um, I think like that. There we go. So there's a temperature bar there so you can see, you know, if I'm getting too cold, I will lose my health. Um, so that's something that I have to worry about. And also, like, there's, like, enemies in the form of, like, you know, wild animals that can attack me, which obviously we don't want. Okay, so I'm guessing I can go to this road, ideally. Go to the tail section and then move a little bit further to, like, this sort of bridge. Then hopefully find the survivors there. Which sounds easy enough, but, like, you know, obviously I'm dealing with, um... Also, what is the, uh, what is my weapon wheel? Radial menu, okay. Weapons, okay, so I, I do have multiple weapons. Which is good. But it's funny, it's been so long since I've played this game. But I do remember... Like I said, I do remember, like, things like, um... Like, part of the story... And what happens, like, why we are here. One thing that it kind of kept bothering me with this game is that I am wearing, like, I feel that I'm wearing quite a thick layer of clothing. I mean, you can see my clothes here. Like, this seems like I'm, I'm, I'm dressed up pretty nicely, I'd, I'd say. Um, yet my body can get cold, even though I feel that, you know, like, walking around with a heavy backpack... You know, wearing this 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 amount of clothing would make a person kind of sweaty and get warm and hot and flustered and everything. Um, but apparently, the game doesn't agree with me on that. <laughs> also, do you guys hear anything of like me walking around, or is it like super quiet for you guys? All right, is this the road that I was gonna go on? Okay, so I need to follow. I want to follow this ideally. And I can run a little bit, but obviously that's gonna, you know, cost more energy and stamina. Um, wait, where's the, where's the path? Oh, it just goes this way. I hear your feet in the snow. Okay, good. 
I wasn't sure if it was actually like audible or not. But it's good that it is. But yeah, honestly, I wish I could go back in time and sort of figure out why I stopped playing this game. If you want to see anything that happened like up to this point, though, you can go to my VOD channel. Um, there's a dedicated playlist to this game. Uh, again, it's called The Long Dark. Wait, oh, jeez. Stop it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Nobody clipped that. Nobody clipped that. I don't want to be. I don't want to be known as as the guy that gets scared by dicks. Um. <laughs> wow. Um. What was I saying? Wait, there's fire there. Yeah. So there's a there's a dedicated playlist on my YouTube with um, my entire playthrough of this game. So I cut up like my streams of back in the day. Um. And like all my entire playthrough is is uh, you can find over there. So it's only like me playing the game. So like I cut out all the bathroom breaks and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Also, there's a uh, the plane is there's a plane crash here, um, which we might find some in. Oh wait, it's empty. It's empty. It's empty. Okay, I was hoping we could find like some good resources here, but I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> Massively scared by dicks. Yeah. Frozen corpse. Also, I feel that this fire doesn't heat us up as well. Oh, it, it does actually. Oh, nice. It does heat us up. Nice. I wish I made a clip of them all. Yeah, so I could make like a, a compilation of me getting scared. Okay, so this is all empty. Wait, have I been here before? Maybe I have been here before because everything seems to be searched. This stuff will come in handy. A ragged baseball cap. I don't think that's gonna make me any warmer. Cargo pants. Decent leather shoes. I don't think they're gonna keep me any warm. I go on the plane. I will bring with me an empty suitcase. Or maybe you wanna come back with like lots of souvenirs. So you're like, I'm gonna take an empty suitcase with me, so I can you know bring it back filled with souvenirs. What's up with the birds here, though? They're, like, very active and, like, noisy. Okay, so I think there should be a church artifact somewhere this way. Which I think I also have to find, like, as a, uh, as a side objective. But, of course, I need to watch out for, like, any animals that might roam this area, too. Um, and I'm not sure if I can even easily climb there or like, you know, wherever I need to be. Because I think it's like in that, like on there, but I'm not sure how I would climb that. And I'm kind of low-key diverting from the path now, which I'm not super happy about. This will come in handy. Ooh, those do seem like they might come in handy. Absolutely. Um, let's see. Am I wearing any mittens? I am. Okay, they're not as good though, so never mind. How do mountains stay warm? How? They put on their snow caps. Ah! <laughs> Thank you for those biddies. Nothing here. They put on their snow caps. That's clever. Yeah, so I think it's I think it's on those mines, mountains. I have no idea how to get on there though. Like I'm not sure if I can climb. Also, was that like? I'm not sure if that is um like a main objective. No, I don't think so. So I mean, if I can find it, it would be nice. But I think the main objective is to find those uh, survivors and make sure they, they come back in one piece. So I'm going to try and do that. Not sure if this was like the best path for me to take. 
now that I've decided I'm not gonna focus too much on that artifact. It is also getting dark. I'm not sure if we have like a time indicator in the game. I think there was, but I'm not too sure. Wait, I need to cross here? Wow, okay. Not scary at all. Oh wait, that's actually... Okay, I'm, I'm kind of sort of low-key not going super duper in the direction that I have to go in. Um, which might be a problem. Oh wait, actually no, maybe maybe it'll be fine. Maybe this is gonna take me down and it'll bring me to where I need to go. Yeah. It would be nice if there was like some way to sort of check um, like my map without going into the map icon all the time or like the map menu. Take it. Worn wool socks. Yeah, I'll take them. Worn t-shirt. It's not too much. I think I can. I might be able to use that. Um, let's see. Socks. Which ones are better? Okay, they're not necessarily good. All right. Well, I can always take them apart and use the uh, the fabric for something else. Ooh, a fire barrel. Ooh, okay, that could be good. We got some firewood here. A jerry can. I mean, clearly the structure has burned down, so that's a shame. Um, but I think we can what start can a fire if we have to. Closed? A cold. What can you catch with your eyes closed? A cold? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thanks for those biddies. I appreciate it. Oh crap, we have to cross the lake. Yeah, I don't want that. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have to travel this way. Across the lake until that bridge. So we did take a small detour. While, you know, the sun is slowly setting. Oh yeah, you can see the time. It's it's above my head. So there's the time. So you can see that the sun is almost going down and it's getting dark. So ideally... I would find like a place to take shelter in because you know you don't want to be outside in the dark too much um but honestly i haven't seen a place where i can take shelter in a while which is um not great wait did i hear wolves i thought i heard a wolf but i'm not sure because if I did, I need to watch out because they will attack me, sadly. Even though I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm like, you know, one of you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Uh, they don't necessarily agree with uh, agree with that. They're like, hey, we see you, and you look like food, and we will eat you. Whereas I'd rather, you know, they not eat me. But you know, that's not how that works. Oh wait, wait, where's the bridge? Oh, here it is. Nice, okay, so we managed to find our way to the bridge. Perfect, it's still here. Which is also pretty nice. I mean, you know, imagine that I walked all this way and it would be gone. That would be kind of annoying. Uh, but it's still here. I'm not sure if this game also auto saves. Um, I mean, I can probably save this. Wait, episode. Wait, did it say episode completion fifty percent? Wait, how? Why did I never continue playing this game? I'm so confused. I'm like honestly so confused. Why I? stopped playing this game with this episode and I never continued. 
because I know that I really enjoyed playing it. And I, I, I think you guys did as well. Like, I know, you know, some of my viewers that I had back then that I still have now, but like some that I haven't seen in a while. But um, I know most people enjoyed me, enjoyed watching me play this game. So I'm really confused why I sort of stopped playing. The only thing that I can think of is that I knew that things were gonna be gonna get harder and I was kind of like not looking forward to that so I stopped playing so that they wouldn't get harder but at the same time that also doesn't necessarily make like a lot of sense. So I'm hoping that the, the icon we see in the top middle is actually for um, autosave. Doctor, doctor, I think I'm a bridge. What's come over you? Three cars, a van and a motorbike. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Okay, so there's a wolf in the distance over there. So we are going to tread carefully. Uh, and we need to find survivors here. Okay, we find a, a deer or a moose that has clearly been, um, oh, we can harvest that. Okay, you know what? Let's not harvest it because I don't feel we have a lot of time. Don't a woo at me, okay? Okay, so... No, they're coming for- oh crap, they're coming for me. Yeah, go away. No, go away. No! Do I have any more bullets? I don't have a lot of bullets though. I remember this was definitely something that I didn't like in the game. Like the, those timber wolves. So you can see in the bottom over there. You can see that like their morale and they are going to try and hunt me down. Maybe I had enough of this walking simulator. I don't know. I mean, I remember that I still enjoyed it. The only thing that I can think of right now is that maybe at the time... Another game release that I was more interested in. Maybe it was like, um, wasn't it like Zelda A Link to the Past? Didn't that release like at the same time? Did it, can anyone check? Did Zelda A Link to the Past release in like November of um, 2019? Because maybe I started playing that and then maybe because of that I forgot to continue with this game. That's like the only thing that I can think of. Okay, I need to find survivors. I honestly have no idea where I can find them, though. Like, where they could be. Like, this is a pretty big place that I need to look at. And I think the game wants me to go sort of, like, across. I mean, if I could go across, that would help. I could go to Molly's farmhouse, but I think those wolves are still there. And it's getting dark. Oh, man, if only I could find, like, a cave. Like, if I could find a cave, that would be so good. Because then I could just set up camp there, take some sleep, and, you know, keep going. But, uh, I don't know if there is going to be a cave here. Okay, I hear wolves again in the distance. Oh, wait, there they are. Oh, I killed it. Oh, heck. Okay, I didn't realize I was going to kill it. Oh, there's so much meat, but it takes me so long to harvest it. Oh, dang, there's so much meat. 30 minutes? Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I want to do it, but it's just not worth it in terms of the time that I'm going to lose. Like, I'm, I'm losing so much light here. Um... Oh, crap, I don't have a... Oh, I don't have that... Okay, I hope that I had a lantern with me, but I guess I didn't.
And she's gonna like she's gonna lose temperature quite fast now, so I really need to find some place. Ideally a little bit sheltered that I can set up camp. Even if it would just be like a like an abandoned cabin or something like that, but I don't see a whole lot. I can only find a 19. Oh wait, it wasn't a link to the past. It was a Link's Awakening. Um, yeah, Link's Awakening. Sorry, wrong game. <laughs> My bad. It would be cool though if there was like a a Google feature in my stream that I can just be like, I could just ask Google and it would just you know have like a search result coming back in chat. Which I think technically would be possible if you could like code something like that, but... Okay, so we have that shack there, but it's like that's hardly... It's hardly secure and it's hardly like... Covering anything. September 20, 2019. Yeah, so that could be the game that maybe took me out of this. I don't know why, I seem to remember that I was playing this and then a link to the or oh, Link's Awakening came out, like the remake, and I I got into playing that and I forgot, I guess I think I forgot to just go back to this game. I think that's the only explanation I can I can give. Is, wait, is this a cave? It's not a cave, okay. Oh, wait, wait, I see something in the distance. Are those houses in the distance? They might be. They might be houses, I don't know. Or like shacks or something like that. <laughs> Bad boy. Okay, I'm still in the area where the survivors technically could be. Oh, are they houses? No, I don't think so. I think... Nope. I don't think these are houses. But I was going to towards Molly's farmhouse. So, like, if I can make my way over there, that could also help. I mean, I still... Yeah, she's tired. I know, she's tired. I still have a little bit of, like, light left. Um, I do have enough water and food, so that should be good. It's just annoying that I haven't found the survivors yet, because, you know, I've searched... I feel that I've searched quite a bit of this entire area, but I haven't found any survivors. I think the farmhouse is over there. I do remember from last time, even though it was two years ago, I do remember that were uh, wolves in this area as well. Also, is this going to be a deep fall? It might... No, we're good. We're good. Okay, so I found the farmhouse. Let's hope that I can go inside. Anything right about now. Please let the doors be open. Please let them be open. Okay, here's a door. <gasps> it's locked. Wait, can I shoot off the lock? Is that going to work? Crap, I'm not sure if that's going to work. I don't want to risk like a bullet if that wouldn't work. Maybe there's like a back door that we can enter. Open door, yes. Oh, this one is also locked. Crap. Hello? Molly? Or someone else? Okay, all of these doors are locked. I'm not sure if I can shoot them. Maybe I can take shelter in this silo if that's open. Which is, it's not. Ah, oh, don't tell me I came all this way. Basically for like nothing. 
Maybe I can set up camp here. Let's see, fire. Can I set up a fire here? Mm. I mean... The next building is like all the way over here. And there's a, um, a bunker, but it's kind of far away. I don't feel like going all the way there. Yeah, although it might be the best option. If I can quickly eat something. Um, and then I have to drink something again as well. Um, yeah, let's get the summit soda. And then hopefully I can make my way to that bunker. That might be the best bet that I have at the moment. It In all honesty, though, I feel that I... I mean, maybe I should have tried shooting over open the lock. Like, maybe I could have done that. I don't know. Um, but I didn't want to risk it, you know? I didn't want to, like, risk... Using up, like, one of my bullets that I don't have a lot of. Just to see if I could open up the door to that house. Okay, wait, there is a shack over there. And then the bunker should be somewhere here. On the other side of this bridge. Let's see, orange soda, I'm gonna take that. Needs this anymore. I'm gonna drink it even. Mm. Yeah, I think that's it. Alright. Bunker, bunker, where are you? Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. Same. I don't like being cold either. But we're close to, um, you know, warmth, I guess, and being indoors. So bear with me. Like, you know, a, a little bit longer. The only downside is I have to find the bunker. Like, it could be anywhere at this point. Okay, I feel that I'm standing on top of it, but it's it's not here. I don't see the entrance. Um, wait, is that it? I don't know, could be. This is annoying. I mean, it's realistic though. Like if if you don't know where Oh, here it is. Found it. Please let it be warm inside. Please let there be a bed or anything like that. Or light even. Okay, so there's no light, clearly. Um, we do have um, cardboard matches. Can I... Uh Can I... Ow. Ouch! Can I light... Oh wait! Light switch, that doesn't work, obviously. Okay, at least in terms of, like, temperature, I think we're fine. So I guess we can just get some sleep, wait for daylight, and then hopefully, um... Once we wake up again... We should be good. So let's get some sleep. Um, hours of sleep. I say eight, which hopefully means that, you know, it's sunlight again. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, it's indoors. It's se semi warm. It's not perfect, obviously, but. Okay, the sun has hasn't come up yet. Um. 
Was that peanut butter? Ooh, creamy peanut butter. I'll eat it. Energy bomb. Drink almost anything about now. Pinnacle peaches. Is that going to give me any water? I don't think so. This is also the thing with this game is that. Like, you know, lights, like, uh, anything basically is sort of a, um... Looks like this has been here a while. Anything sort of is like a resource. Mm. A Samoa painkillers, I want to take all of that. Wait. Rifle ammunition, I'll take that. Uh, I don't see anything. Wait, let's... Alright. More Pinnacle Peaches. Let's eat some more. Alright, so my, my food is completely full. Uh, it's just my... Um, my drinks that aren't completely full just yet, but that's okay. Um, I do want to take a couple of these, even though they are kind of heavy. I mean, I think they'll definitely come in handy. Oh wait, search this container. Energy bar. Be useful. Ooh, yeah, I'll take that water bottle. I'll take that too, and I can actually drink that. Um, because I'm still a little bit thirsty. Uh, wait, where is my water bottle? Was it full or was it empty? Um, where is it? Did I just literally just take that? Or did I add it to this? Okay, let's drink this a little bit. Cool, okay. Um, with that, let's light one more match, but I think we've got everything. Oh wait, we have a uh, final cabinet that is still to be searched. I think I can use this. Maybe. Crunchy stuff. More matches. Nice. No, wait. Ooh, okay. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Some long johns. They will definitely come in handy as they probably are nice and warm. Uh, okay, let's have a look at these clothing items that we just got. Um, mm -mm. We don't have any accessories. Okay, let's wear these. They are slightly more, slightly warmer. Uh, and I had a t-shirt, I think, also as well. This one, but it doesn't seem like it is any warmer than the ones that I have. All right. Okay, Um, I think we got everything. Good Tinder, that's about it. I can take that. Okay, let's switch back to my weapon, if we come across uh, animals again. Okay, but we still haven't found the survivors, which we were kind of looking for. I mean, that's the thing that we had to find. Um, we are here, the church is over there, so technically it's closer to go back to the missing survivors. I think. Then it is to go to the church and then go back. Um, but at the same time, I'm not super duper looking forward to go back to those survivors. But that's like the main objective. We need one more. Yeah. Yeah, let's go back there. Um... 
Dang it. I, I, it's, it's kind of annoying that we didn't find them like yesterday when we were there. Because that would have made things definitely a lot easier. Uh, Luke, honey, how are you doing? Work on in. Is that the Jordy the Cute and Precious Bean? I can't believe my eyes. Wow. Wow, I'm not I'm not cute nor precious, but thank you. You are cuter. Oh no, reverse card. You are cute and precious. You're playing Red Dead Redemption 2? No, this is actually a, a game called The Long Dark. Uh, I've This is a game that I've been sort of playing for like over two years, I guess. Um, and a new episode of the game just came out uh, today. Uh, and I thought that I uh, I was ready to start that, but then I discovered that I didn't even finish the previous episode. So that's, so that's what we're kind of doing right now. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. How's it going? It's going, it's going okay. I was not feeling too good today. I wasn't sure if I was going to stream because I was not really like... My head was not necessarily in the game. Uh, but then I saw that this game came out and I was kind of excited for that. So uh, here we are. Oh, you know, well, not this game came out, like a new episode of the game came out. That's what I said, you're playing RE8. <laughs> I'm glad you started streaming so I could chill with you, buddy. Absolutely, yeah. Thank you for being here, I appreciate that. Okay. Only 80 days till Christmas. 80 Did days till- put up the Christmas oh. tree already? I have not, no. I'm not sure if we are gonna. We didn't put up one last year because of, you know... Um... Chiro probably wouldn't like it. Um, and we don't have a lot of space for a Christmas tree, so we didn't necessarily set one up. And, you know, 80 days is still a long time. Also, Zephyr, hello, how are you doing? How are you doing? Welcome on in. I was initially actually thinking of streaming on YouTube today. Um, with like the whole Twitch thing going on, I was like, you know what, let's just go stream on YouTube. Um, didn't end up doing that because it felt like a very random thing to do. Um, but with that said, again, chat, if you haven't followed me on my YouTube just yet, I know I said it before, but for those of you who missed it or just came in, um, I'm getting closer to becoming a YouTube partner, which would be a amazing milestone and I could... Um, Start, you know, like I can start offering more things on YouTube as well. So if you haven't subscribed to me on YouTube, which is completely free, it's not like subscribing on Twitch. Uh, subscribing on YouTube is actually completely free. If you haven't done that already, I would massively appreciate the support over there as well. Um, and as always, uh, as well, if you are like, if you are a streamer yourself, I actually posted a new video today um, with uh, another one of my free to download resources that you can add to your own streams. And a video accompanying that if you want to know more how to install it or anything like that. So if you are a streamer and you like free stuff, then definitely check out my latest video. Uh, all good, just having some cereal. Wait, cereal? Is, is that like, you know, is, is cereal like your, your after dinner dessert? I've never heard anyone eating cereal like in the evening. I kind of, I kind of like it. <laughs> You changed your password and stuff? Yeah, I did. Um, I'm hoping that everything works again because I remembered that I had to like log in and authenticate several services again with Twitch because I changed my password, but I think we're all good. And everything is back up and running. All right, how am I going to get up here? Cute, cute pink haired puppy. Ooh, ooh, me? Well, thank you. My puppy is actually over there. You can't see it, but he's like chilling and he's watching over me. And I always like watching at it, to it, looking at it. Free stuff. Woo! <laughs> is the afternoon for me? Also, I can have breakfast any time of the day. To be honest, that's very true, though. Yes, I'm. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna deny that. Am I cereal? <laughs> Wait, are you cereal? Wasn't that the joke from South Park with, um, what's his name, Al Gore? You gotta believe me, I'm completely serial. Okay, where the hell are these survivors? 
I'm very tempted to just look up a walkthrough and see where those survivors are exactly. Because I feel that I've searched basically this entire area. Or at least like, you know... Maybe not the entire area, but I feel that I've searched the area where they could be. Um, and I haven't found anything. And seeing as they are labeled as survivors, I reckon that they are not dead. Because otherwise, why would they label them as survivors, you know? Share a bowl of cereal and hit that follow button. Well, yeah, yeah, like if you want to share your bowl of cereal and hit the follow button, then I wouldn't say no. <laughs> But yeah, same, same thing goes for YouTube. Again, I, I appreciate everyone that has already followed me there. Uh, like I said, again, full disclosure, I'm, I'm getting closer to becoming YouTube partner, which would mean that I could monetize my content over there. Um, but not just that, I could also offer more things for you guys as well, which I'm actually super excited for. Um, the only requirements, requirements that I still need is I need, uh, like I think, like 150-ish more subscribers. Uh, and I need like 400 more watch hours. So if you can watch any of my videos and recommend them to your friends and all that. Uh, again, like if, if people are streamers, I actually have an entire playlist with streaming tip videos uh, with also lots of free resources that you can just download yourself, use on your stream. Um, one of them, for instance, is my PlayStation trophy, which you can give to me on my stream as well. That's an effect. If you like that, you can download that completely for free. Um, you can pay what you want. If you're like, hey, I like your content. I want to support you. Uh, you can pay what you want on your on my Kofi when you download it. But other than that, it's completely for free. You can customize it. You can use it yourself. And there's various other downloadable resources as well. And I'm planning on making more because I found an easier way to distribute and, you know, make sure that you guys can use them. Uh, so I'm definitely planning on making more stuff now that I know that it's easier for me and for you guys as well to install them. I think the new follower of mine already unfollowed. I mean, it could have also been like one of those follow bots. Like I, I, I keep getting followers myself as well. I see it in like the dashboard and then I go to my follower overview and they're not there. So like I'm just assuming that they're just... It's just like bots or, you know, spam accounts that follow. Okay, how much how much weight do I have? I feel that I'm carrying way too much. Ooh, 46? Oh uh, yeah. That's that's too much. I'm freezing. Can I drop anything? Can I sort by weight? I got my guns. Mm, yeah, I'm carrying way too many things. Uh, but I don't want to lose it because I need some of these things. Um Wait, maybe I can drop the uh, the empty cans a little bit. I mean, it's not going to make, you know, like a lot of difference, but like a little bit maybe. Let's harvest some materials here. Okay, well, that's not really going to do anything, but happens to a few of my friends too. Yeah, like they, they follow and then they kind of like unfollow again. Would it be cheating if I just Google the location of these survivors? Because I mean, this is a big radius. I feel that I've been in like the center. I feel that I've been like on this corner. I haven't found them yet. Um, You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to quickly do that I'm, I'm because I, I'm not sure if I can find them. All right. Okay, so we are here. I'm assuming they are somewhere like over there, but I'm going to shoot my distress pistol. Um, if I can reload it. Aim and... Okay, let's pay attention. Okay, wait, that didn't really go that far. Wait, wait, wait! There it is! Okay, so they are over there. Okay, so I need to go that way. Okay, that was good. I didn't think of that at all. 
Oh man, walking is going so slow. Uh, okay. This is like my biggest annoyance in this game, that you can't carry too many things and then, or like, I, I mean, I can't move forward. I'm basically like, so I need to drop a few things. What's this? Antiseptic? I want to keep that because this antiseptic is definitely... Let's see. Let's drop like three... Oh, no, I need these. Pinnacle peaches. Let's eat one of these. Instead of just dropping them. I think I can go to 40. 40 kilos and then I should be good. Lighter fluid. Did I need to take that with me as well? Um... Kerosene, no, lighter fluid wasn't on there. Okay, I was a firewood or other fuel. I'm not sure if firewood counts as, or lighter fluid counts as fuel, but I'm going to drop it for now. Wait, what did I just drop? I think I dropped something else, but it's probably fine. Okay, well, it's, it's not perfect. But I guess I'll have to do. Okay, so the survivors were somewhere this way. Not exactly sure where they were. We can always fire another one of our flares. If we can't find them. The flare came from somewhere this way. I mean, it would be nice if they could, like, call out or something. Like, yo, I'm over here. I'm assuming they might be in that, like over there in those rocks, like in a crevice or something. So let's hope that's the case. I don't see anyone though, at least not yet. Oh, wait, wait, I see smoke. I see fire. I don't see a person, but this looks promising. Especially since they have fire, that seems good because I need to warm myself up before we can go back to the, uh, like the main cabin area. Hello? Easy. I'm here now. Wade. Wait, I'm gonna have to carry him? No way. Just gonna see if I can help. Please tell me you can. Dehydration. Okay, let's give him some, some water. Please tell me he can just walk. There. That should be better. Painkillers. Uh, emergency. Wait, this, this, are these still intact? I think they are. Okay, we're totally gonna take them. Campfire, cook. What are we gonna cook? Pinnacle peaches? Sure, let's cook some pinnacle peaches because, yeah, I don't know, why not? I think I have to carry him though, which is not going to be great. Okay. Um, let's eat these because I think they will warm me up as well, seeing as they are now warm too. See, benefit warming up. Nice. I think I'm going to have to carry him, which is the worst because that's going to make things even go slower. Dude, why can't you just be a survivor that I don't have to carry? Why can't you just survive without me having to carry you? <laughs> you know? Wait, are there more people or is he just like mumbling? Okay, let's eat this as well. So that we are nice and warm, and then I guess we're gonna have to carry him. Uh. 
Okay, we are going. We have to go all the way back to the community hall, which is quite far. Um, so I'm guessing we're going to have to make a stop maybe at Molly's barn, maybe at the prepper cache again before we can go all the way there. But we have to walk that entire... Like, all the way. We can't run, obviously, seeing as we're carrying this guy. Stay with me. Yep. I don't want you dying on me, okay? I don't want to go all the way there and then you die and then I, like, I carried you all that way for nothing. Alright? Because you are not a, you are not a lightweight. I'm just saying. Can we drop down here? Yeah, we're fine. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Where are you? Okay, I'm gonna put you down here for a second. Here you go. Why? Oh, I killed it. Nice. Did I kill it? No, I didn't kill it yet, but if I can kill it, then I can scare them off, I guess. Why well, can't just keep shooting? I think that also scares them off. Yeah, you guys leave, okay? Yeah, you, you run away. I'm sorry, wait. Thank you for playing the, the, the Awoon Wolf. All right. I wish that I could take their meat because they have quite a bit of meat on them, but... Also, I'm so sorry that I had to kill you guys, but it's, it was either me or you. I wonder if they changed that because what I can remember is that when I played this game the last time, which again, like two years ago, um, those wolves were like super hard to deal with from what I can remember. Which was, I think, also one of the things that I kind of hated about them. So maybe they changed, like, the difficulty of, uh, of them. I don't know, maybe. But I'm curious, if, if there's anyone in chat that has, like, a, um, like, a take or, like, an opinion. Wait, wasn't there, like, an auto-walk button? Um... Auto walk Z, yeah. Z, no. Well, I can also just do this. There we go. I got a macro on my um, I got a macro on my keyboard, which just basically pushes the W key for me, which is great because then I don't have to push it. I can just talk to you guys. I can just move my mouse if I want don't to, I won't leave. you know, go go somewhere else. So this this is ideal. This is great. I can just let it walk. Um, Neki, how are you doing? Hello, hello. An opinion on long or on dark? <laughs> Love the necklace. That's my take. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, it's my um, my it's my puppy name keychain thing. Um, and and I, one thing that I love, I'm not sure sure if you guys can see on on the screen, but like it's it's like got this sort of rainbow collar. Um, yeah, you can't really see it, but like it's it's got like this rainbow colored metal. Yeah, it's like this rainbow colored metal, which I think is super cool. But Naki, how are you? Not much farther now. It's still a little bit further, but that's okay. But I'm, I'm loving it myself too. I'm so happy with it. Uh, I got to go to class soon. Love you all. No worries, Star Slash. Thank you for hanging out. Good luck with your class. I was talking about my necklace to or my, yeah, my collar, my, my tag, whatever. I was talking about it with someone, uh, like a fellow puppy. Uh, and I was saying like, yeah, it's kind of weird, but it feels sort of, it feels so good to sort of wear like my, my pup, like my pup identity every day. Um, even though I sometimes get questions from people asking like what it means and such. Um, 
even people that were like prying and even though though when I clearly said like it's something personal and you know I wanted to leave it at that they were like yeah no we're gonna keep keep pushing um but I was talking about it and I was like yeah it feels it just feels sort of nice to wear that part of my identity around me um I don't know it made me feel sort of more connected to it I guess if that makes sense I'm doing well big day yesterday so recovering and doing some work today Ooh, what did you do yesterday if you don't mind me asking what made it a big day? What like what happened? Hold on. Just hold Yeah, just hold on, dude. I mean I'm carrying you. If only this car was still working, I could just take it, hotwire it, and, and go. Wait, dead wings, no way out? What are dead wings? Okay, so we are getting sort of closer. We I mean, we we can follow this path, and then we should get we should get there. Again, it's not ideal, but I feel that you know we should be um, we should be doing okay. I mean, I wish I, I thought about my macro key earlier, like my W macro key, because it's it's so good. <laughs> Why is there less snow in the car? I don't know. Maybe this the car had some kind of anti-snow. Paint job. Uh, not much sleep. Did an early morning meeting, then played a puzzle game for about eight hours. Brain was full. Ooh, nice. Wait, with puzzle game, do you mean um, what's it called? Outer Outer Worlds. We're making good time. We are making, I mean, relatively good time. Yes, because I saw you play that. I was lurking your stream uh, in the evening while I was playing some uh, some DBD. Out of wilds, mm-hmm. Yeah, I've seen you and, and Mythic play that quite a bit. Um, it looks interesting. Like, it, I'm not sure what kind of game it is. Uh, but I think you, you have said earlier to me that it's like you think it's something that I would definitely enjoy. And I'm kind of wondering, like, what kind of game it is and if I indeed would enjoy it. Are we still going in the right direction? We are. Perfect. This is the only thing that I dislike about this game is that like it's it's even though I don't necessarily want to classify it as such it's definitely like a walking simulator sometimes. We're making good time. Cuz I mean there's nothing I can do. The only thing that I have to do is I need to go back to the community center with the with the survivor that I, I got with me and hopefully we don't find any wolf enemies along the way. And that's basically it. So people classifying this as a walking simulator is is relatively fair. Um, I do feel though that some sometimes like there are I, I, from what I've seen from like the next episode I feel Just that there's less me. walking involved and it's more story elements. But yeah, sometimes it's uh, it's a lot of walking. I'd say it's an exploration puzzle story game. It does a lot of things right. Nice. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about it. Only wolf friends, please. Yeah, like, I don't want to kill any more wolves, but they, they, I mean, they, they keep running at me, so maybe they just come in for, like, the, the hug tackle. But, I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. Just hold. We also need to watch out for that guy's, um... Temperature. You can see, uh, like, next to the wolf, like, directly next to the wolf on the left is my temperature. Don't close your eyes. No. And then above that is uh, Wade's temperature. We also need to make sure that he doesn't get hypothermia, because then he might also die. So, I mean, I could technically take a stop in that building over there. But seeing as we are... I mean, we only need to cross this street, and we've crossed quite a bit. I'm feeling that we should be good in terms of temperature and health and everything for both me and Wade. Like, if nothing weird happens, I feel we should be able to make it without us dying. Especially seeing as our sunlight, like, the sun is in the middle of the sky, so... But you can see above me, over there. So, I feel we should be good. I hope. So 
So I wanted to play um, the Battlefield beta today, 2042. Um, I haven't though yet, but I've, I've heard some mixed signals on it. I, like I've heard some people say that they think it's awesome. Um, but I also heard some people say that they played like one or two games. And then they were already like done with it, even though they are like massive Battlefield fans. So I don't know. All right, getting closer. Hang in there. We can do this. Yes, I believe in us. Like it's not looking great, but we can we can believe in us. Don't give up. Okay, so I think that building over there, the one that we see in the distance, I think that's our destination. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I just hope that, you know, we don't get attacked by wolves again. Because obviously I can't run with him, um... With him, like, you know, on my shoulders. Wait, is it? Oh, wait, no, wait. That's maybe not the building. Maybe the building is a little bit further. I think that's like a big boulder. Maybe the building now. is a little bit further, like, further, like, where the smoke is over there. Hang in there. Yeah, I'm guessing that's where the building is. So I need to go to where the smoke is, which is still a little bit... Still a long ways to go. Looking at his uh, temperature, I Just feel we away. should be okay-ish, but... It's gonna be close. It's gonna be... it's gonna be toits. I'm also not sure if I can better, like cross over here and skip a little bit. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. It's like, it's like so close and yet so far. Like, I can see it. I can see the building I need to go to. I can see the smoke rising from it. But it's still, it's still, it's still a long ways to go. Also, I just... Wait, let me check. Because um, I was thinking I might want to do some DBD after, like, when I'm done with this. Just to end the stream. But I do have an early dentist appointment tomorrow. Ugh. There's one thing I dislike, it's, it's dentist appointments. And if there's one thing that I dislike even more, it's early dentist appointments. For some reason, we always schedule them early on the day. Which I hate. Um, but it, that also means I can't make it too late. I mean, I can, but I don't want to... Stop streaming at like 2 a.m. and then having to wake up again at like 9. Because I'm old, I need my sleep. I need my beauty sleep. Wait, no, we're gonna get more snow? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm so close and now the storm is picking up. Well, I mean, I'm so close. Don't die on me, Wade. We can do this. We can do this. They always ask what time I want the appointment. I mean, they do for us too, but for some reason we always schedule it like early in the day because um, like we make those appointments like half a year in advance, like six months in advance. So we don't know like, like for all I knew, I could have had a job by now and it would have been easier, of course, for me to go there like in the, in the early morning so yeah we always kind of just sort of do that and I think Peter also thinks that I should should just not complain about getting up early all right we made it chat we made it the weather outside is frightful um stop walking okay wait let's, let's just go inside okay I my macro key I need to uh, disable it I'm not sure if I can do that stop Okay, there we go. Wait, where can I place him?
I want to place him. Where can I place him? Oh, wait, here we go. Don't fall asleep. Oh, Stay with we literally you. just like flop. All right, well, we did it. Hello, Santa Claus. We did it. White out. The storm is coming and the people are vulnerable. I know. Don't delay, my child. What do you mean, don't delay? I just brought back another survivor. Wait, he, please tell me he is one of those survivors. Please tell me I didn't just take a random person with me. <gasps> wait, did I? Wait, did I? Wait, I'm so confused. Locate and return the missing survivors to community hall. Yeah, I did that. He's right here. This might be serious. Dehydration? Yeah, give him some water. Please. Okay, maybe he needs to sleep first. I don't know. I can't talk about Wade. I know, you said that, Santa Claus. Don't delay, my child. Don't delay, my child. Okay, well, we also have some stuff that we wanted to give to, um, to the building. Um, let's see, open fridge. Let's see, we can drop some of this airline food here. Uh, let's drop the lower quality ones so we can keep some of the higher quality ones ourselves. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. what else? I mean, we have to move a lot of things. Or we have to give them a lot of things, don't we? Uh, let's see. Antiseptic. So we do have a lot of antiseptic. So where do we drop that? Uh, where are we supposed to drop that again? Like back here. Yeah, I definitely don't hope that I took a random person because I mean he might be waking up and he might be like, dude, where's my where's my fire? Oh wait, maybe I need to drop it in this uh giant trunk. Perhaps, maybe. Let's see, antiseptic. Okay, you can you can have all the antiseptic. Let's see, we dropped Four. Still two out of eight. Where do we drop that off then? Um, or do you think it just not counts like instantly? Did Santa drop a bag of presents next to the fireplace? I don't know if he did. This stuff will come in handy. Accelerants. Oh wait, oh a storage cupboard. Ah, there we go. Okay, so this is where we have to drop that stuff. Okay, so antiseptic. Three out of eight, four out of eight, five out of eight, six out of eight. Okay. Calories from food or drink. Wait, did we um Let's take these airline meals? Because I think we have to drop them in the cupboard. Even though I, I I thought that, you know, people were gonna want to have them in the uh, refriger uh, refrigerator, but I guess clearly they don't. Antibiotics, do they also count? I see, transfer one. They do not, okay. One distress pistol and four shells. Oh, dang, if only I took that separate distress pistol that we found. That would have been nice. But I didn't. Energy bar. How much calories do they have? Oh, quite a bit though. What is this? Rusty dog food? Oh wait, dog food has a lot of calories as well. Okay, we're gonna give them some dog food. I mean, hey, this is the uh, this is the um, what's this called? This is basically like the um, lantern fuel.
Like, this is a pandemic, so, like, they shouldn't complain that they're getting... Let's see, transfer one? No, they shouldn't complain that they're getting, um... Dog food. I mean, it's either this or nothing. Um, oh man, if only I took that other flare. I'm so, I'm so annoyed that I didn't. Do cardboard matches, do they count? I'm not sure if they do. I was a firewood or all the fuel. Okay, yeah, so matches I think isn't fuel. Uh let's see. Wood matches, do that does that count as fuel? No, also not. Dang, so we have to find a lot of things for them to be happy. Um let's see, accelerant we can drop maybe. Wait, does that not count as fuel? It does not. Okay, then we're going to keep it. Obviously. Um, And I'm going to take one antiseptic with me. Because I don't want to drop off everything. Okay. Um, let's get some rest ourselves as well. If we can. If we have a place to sleep. Wait, do we have a place to sleep? Oh wait, I can just set up my, my own sleeping bag. Um, because I mean, with this weather, I don't feel I want to go outside. Like right now in this weather. Oh dang, if only I didn't. I mean, I might be able to leave it again. The distress pistol. Maybe I don't need it anymore, but... I'm also still not sure why... Seemingly, I haven't located and returned the missing survivors. Like, the guy is right here. Like, what's what's the issue with that? I'm not sure if I should talk to someone. Or, like, if the day needs to pass before he will count. I think he is... Like, I, I'm, I'm fairly certain that he is one of the missing survivors. A storm is coming. Don't delay my child. No. Don't delay my child. Where else am I going to put him, though? Like, I don't think... Maybe here? I love how, we're... I love how this is, like, the interface for... Placing a person. No, I, th I think this is where he needs to go. I need to catch my breath. You have nothing else you want to talk about, dude? The storm is coming and the I know. people are vulnerable. I know. Don't delay, my child. In all honesty, I think the storm is here. Um. I kind of want to get some sleep as well, because I'm not sure what happens if I go outside. Like, I'm having a feeling that I don't want to be outside at this moment because of the, the storm. Like, look, this is not a nice... Yeah, I don't want to be in this weather. Um, so I'm not entirely super duper sure what I should do. Because this is optional. I found the last survive. So I think the last thing that I have to do is basically this. But I'm feeling that I should... I'm low-key thinking that I should go out and find, like, maybe this last bunker, if we haven't done that already. Prepper cash. Prepper cash. Yeah, I think maybe I need to go to this bunker, find the last one. And then maybe come back. Despite the weather being, like, the worst ever. Okay, wait. Let's save the game here for a second. Um, so that we don't lose... Still only 50% episode completion, which sounds so weird. 
Okay, but the thing is that way. So we might be able to just go there, like, very quickly. It's still light out. Um, so we might just, you know, make a run for it. Oh, it's not that way. It is that way. Okay, good. Let's see, Thompson's Market. Yeah, and then we need to go a little bit further beyond beyond that. I noticed that I start talking louder as well because of the loud sounds of the uh, of like the wind. Decent cargo pants. I'll take them. New jeans. Wait, why do we have new jeans and decent cargo pants? What's that? Orange soda, summit soda. Hmm. Okay. I'll drink that. You know what the funny thing is with this game? I feel this game has like a lot of qualities of like a um like a scary game. Tomato soup, I'll take the food. So I can drop that off at the um at the church again. Like I feel this game has like all the qualities of a um of like a scary game. Like a jump scary game, but as far as I know, it's it's not necessarily that. Like it's not necessarily a scary game. Um, all right, anything that I can take with me that I could give to the church, I'll gladly take. Because I still need to take like a lot of. Um, things in terms of like, well, mostly food. Like food is a very important one that I still need to take. So like any food that I can find is something that I definitely want to take with me. Okay, let's leave the store here. And try to find the, um, that bunker that we were looking for. Because I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Wait, we need to cross that? Oh no, wait, there's a bridge, like literally here. Let's just cross it there to be safe. I mean, like I have climbed the highest mountains um, and I've run through the fields only to be with you, but I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Like I even kissed hundreds of lips. But again, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Wait, there's a building here as well, supposedly. Oh, there it is. All right, so the bunker should be that way. That's in the way. And apparently I can't climb, so how am I gonna get into that bunker? Which I'm guessing is on top of that hill. I'm getting cold from the sound. Oh, come on, climb this. Yeah, you can climb this. There we go. Good girl. Come on, go, go, go. Climb it, climb it, climb it. I can feel my feet when I'm walking in. I'm walking in the snow, yeah. Okay, wait, this is definitely not the way that I'm gonna do this. Where's the hell is where's the hell is that bunker? Or like where's a easier way to get in, in, in the bunker? That's I guess a better question. Hyperthermia risk, wow. Yeah, I, I, I get that, seeing as, you know, this weather is not looking too nice. Not just that, it's easy to get lost as well. I 
I am walking on sunshine musical note. Are you though? Are you walking on sunshine? We're walking on sunshine. Oh, whoa. Wait, is that it? Do I see something that resembles a bunker entrance? I do not. I thought I did, but then I didn't. Come on, like how much further can it be? Like, I don't know, I'd say that a bunker it wouldn't be situated like on top of a mountain, but... Maybe it is. Like, maybe that's, like, where they thought it would be a good idea to put a bunker entrance. Yeah, I mean, I'm walking directly towards it, so it should be somewhere here. It could be on top of this ledge, but... I'm not sure if I'm able to get on there. Oh, here it is. We found it. Nice. Oh, okay. That was close. I mean, well, not super close, but like... We weren't doing too, too swell. There we go. Mission completed. Nice. Oh, there's a lot of food here. That's perfect. There's like a ton of food. That's awesome. This will come in handy. A fire striker. Oh, that will definitely come in handy. Nothing here. Trunk. Leave that. Worn combat pants. I'll take them. Ooh, those boots look nice. Wool ear wrap. Okay, wait. Let's um, have a look at my clothing. Because my outfit is wet, which is one of the uh, the annoying things of this game. Like, your clothing can get wet, which will... Um... Wait, can we repair this? Which will make... Um... Like, you know, you, you will get colder when your outfit is wet. Um, so you need to make sure that you... Uh, don't wear wet stuff all the time. 11% wet. Okay, so we should be good in that. We finally have, like, an accessory to keep us warm, which is good. Uh, Alright. We have a lot of firewood as well, which, obviously, I want to take with me as much as I can. I'll take it. Antibiotics. Antiseptic. Painkillers. Bandages we still need. Oh, this is perfect. A crate. Uh, oh, wait. I don't want to break it down. I wanted to open it. I see a metal shelf with nothing on it, seemingly. Oh, wait, a cooking pot. But other than that, it seems pretty empty. What's the time? It's getting dark, so I'm kind of thinking, like, it's a, it's a short trip back. I'm thinking, like, do I want to take that trip back, or do I want to just leave and stay for the night here? Hmm. Okay. Oh, we have so much... Wait, how much am I carrying? Oh, I'm carrying way too much. Okay, so maybe I should just stay here for the night. Get some sleep before going back. Downside is, is that... Walk with this much gear. Yeah, I can barely walk with this much gear. Yeah, I get that. The downside is, I think I need to make like several trips. I don't think I can take all of this in one trip without like... Oh, another gun. Oh man, so much. This is this is like an amazing bunker find, but I don't want to walk back in the dark. That's kind of the the issue that I'm having. So I'm gonna have to do like a very long sleep, I think. Can I can I put any fire inside that thing? Um, like fire. Can I start a campfire indoors? Can I, like, even start, like, any fire? Snow shelter? Wait, I have a snow shelter? Hmm. 
Okay, well, I'm gonna get some sleep. Uh, this, this... I think it's gonna be like 12 hours. Calories burn, 720, calories store. Yeah, I think we should be good. Because I don't want to go back in, in the dark. That's kind of the issue that I'm having. I don't want to go walk all the way back in the dark. Uh, plus, I want to get some energy. Okay, so she's thirsty, which is fine because we had... Um, Oh, wait. There was a lot of water here that we can drink. Thank you. You're welcome. There we go. That completely fills up our thing. And then some tomato soup that I'm just going to open and eat slash drink. Um, it's cold, but, you know, it's better than nothing. And then looking at the time... Yeah, the sun is coming up, so let's see if I can find my bed again. Sleep for like five more hours. And hopefully it's going to be daylight outside, and then hopefully I can take this stuff a walk back. Maybe I need to make another trip back this way. But ideally, I take everything that I can with me now. So I don't have to come back another time. Oh no, crap! Cancel! Because this is a lot of food, and they need a lot of food in the um, in the uh, in the church. I'm just gonna take this. <laughs> there's no, there's no way I can take all of this with me. This will come in handy. But I mean, she's gonna she's gonna die walking back. But we're just, we're just gonna do our best. Okay, we... Okay, this is... Yeah, we, no, we, we can't do that. We can't do that to her. That's too much. Um, I think the storm has subsided a little bit, so let's drop all of these. Yeah, we're carrying way too much. Um, let's drop... Let's drop some of these as well. I mean, we'll come back for them, obviously. But I guess it's better to... Let's see, drop some more heavy items. Some of these cans. It's better to kind of come back again rather than, you know, die because we took everything that we could at once. Let's drop all of these because they are quite heavy, except for one. Um, do we really need two hunting knives? Maybe not. Let's leave that as well. All right, and then everything else we'll uh, take with us. So everything is just going to stay here for now. We're just going to make like two trips and then we'll, we'll come back and we'll get the rest as well, as much as we can. All right. Well, before we do that, I'm going to take a very quick break um, to get something new to drink. Uh, also, Braddock, hello. How are you doing? Thank you for the pets. I appreciate it. Um... I'm going to get a quick break, get some new to drink, and then once I come back, I'm going to try and travel back to the church. And, um, yeah, we'll see how things are over there. Ooh, moldy beef jerky. Well, I love beef jerky. I just don't like it when it's moldy. But, well, if you are living in the apocalypse, you'll take anything. I'm good. How about you? I'm doing okay. I was, I was kind of, you know, not feeling great today. Um, like, you know, mental health wise, but I'm doing better now. I'm doing, uh, I'm doing okay. I was not sure if I was going to stream today, but I'm kind of glad that I decided to do so anyway. So, um, yeah, we're playing some The Long Dark, which I haven't played in like over a year. Um, but it's fun. It's it's fun getting back into it. So I'm guessing we're going to do it, uh, going to do it more often again. Uh, but I'm going to take a quick break. And then once I come back, we will do more of this game. I don't really know what else to say. So I'm going to give you guys some music. Uh, and of course, as, as you guys know, you can play some Plinko once I'm gone. Um, so enjoy yourself with that, and then I'll see you in a couple of minutes when I return. So close. Um, but I'm back. Um, I, uh, so because I had to log into everything anew with, uh, with Twitch, because I changed my, um, uh, I changed my password and my stream key and everything. Um, that also means that all my connections are basically disabled. So, um, the Plinko game, it was disabled because it, you know, I had to log in there again. 
Um, which makes me think I also need to log into another tool that I'm using. So I'm going to quickly do that. Um, so that that should again be authorized to do things. Um, but yeah, Philly, welcome back. Alright, so that should be good. Uh, Alright, uh, so that's logged back in again. Cool, what did I miss? Let's see, I saw that Martin won one, two, three, four games. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Only won the four, first four times. Out of all the thousands, millions of people that are currently live on Twitch, you decide to send your community over here, which is super kind. Millions of streamers have had their data leaked by Twitch. A man got hit in the head by a soda can. Luckily, he survived because it was a soft drink. Okay, that's a good one. I like that. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I like that. Thank you for the bitties. All right, so we have to walk back this way. The storm has subsided, though. That's kind of nice. Which, I guess, makes it a little bit easier for us to go back once we have delivered most of these items in the church. Uh, can we make this drop? I think we should be fine. Yeah, perfect. That's good because, you know, it's it wasn't a super long walk, but seeing with that storm, it wasn't nice to go there. Um, so I'm hoping that we can bring back some of these supplies to the church uh, and then make another run for like some other supplies that I had to leave behind. Uh, Prime Guy, welcome on in. Welcome on a full, full scale Flying Dutchman from Pirates of the Caribbean in Roblox. Nice. Alright, so I'm happy actually that the storm subsided because honestly walking here was so uh, so much so so difficult because we didn't see a thing which didn't help and like you know we cooled off like instantly. So I'm happy that it started lying down. I'm also not sure if we have if the game feels that we have delivered yeah we still haven't delivered the survivor. I don't get that. Because there are no other survivors unless Tall Tales, Church Artifacts. Yeah, like I don't see, like I'm not sure why the game doesn't feels that we didn't do it because there's no other survivors left. So unless he died, I feel that we should be good, but the game doesn't agree. Um, oh, oh, sounds interesting. Hopefully it tastes better than Coca-Cola and coffee drinks we have in the, here in the US. Actually, I, I kind of was wondering what they taste like. Because I know that indeed you have a Coke and coffee mix thing in the US. Um, but I have no idea if it's like remotely the same or not. Have you heard of the cockroach persona? He seems kind of AD. Wait, I don't think I get it. Sounds like a strange mix. Coffee and Coke? Well, I mean, like, if it's if it's, like, purely coffee, then yes. Um, like, the way they did it here, like, they, they basically... I, I mean, like, any Dutchies in chat, you might know, like, the Café Noir cookie. They basically literally emulated that flavor. Uh, Café Noir cookie is basically like a, like a biscuit with, like, a glazing on top, and the glazing tastes... Well, actually, nothing like, co like coffee. Um... But maybe like a coffee with like a lot of sugar, like it's a very like a su very sweet coffee. I love those cookies, um, and because this this cola drink literally tastes exactly like that, um, y you know I I I like I like this drink as well. It's basically like liquid cafe noir cookie, and it has zero sugar, which you know is better than the cookie, I guess. Um, all right, so we are back. That was luckily a easier trip. So let's deliver some of the supplies that we found. So what's up with our survivor? Like, is he is he not happy? Is he not doing well? Like, what's what's up with him? Like, why can we carry him? Still, I don't get that. Like, what am I missing here? Like, I can I can pick up none of these people. Why can I still pick up Wade? 
Okay, well, let's first deliver these supplies and then let's try and figure out why the game didn't... doesn't feel like he is back where he should be. Let's see, we have another antiseptic. Ah, oh, we need one more. Well, ideally two more, but, you know, I guess one more. Um, I think we picked up some firewood as well, didn't we? Let's see, stale chocolate bars we can give them. They can get some beef jerky. Um, we didn't find any bandages, sadly. I don't think they want the, the emergency stims. Nope, they don't count as bandages, so I'm going to take them with me again. Uh, energy bars, I think, are a high, good source of uh, calories. Flares probably don't count. Nope. I'll take them with me as well. Flare shells. How many do they want them? Four? Okay, we can give them four. Dist distress pistol shells. Wait, aren't those flare shells? Isn't that the same? Wait. Um... Distress pistol, yeah. So those flare shells, aren't they like... Isn't that like the same thing? Flare shell. I don't like the original. It tastes like cheap coffee made with salsa. Because um, I, I mean, I can give them... The oh, wait, wait, now it counts. Now, they, now it suddenly takes... Even though I didn't, I didn't give him my gun. Oh wait, I d actually did give him my gun. I don't want to give him my gun, but okay. It took the, it took the shells. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Dog food. We can give them. I thought we took a lot more. F oh wait, here we go. Some energy drink. Yeah, there we go. Wait, there's only a hundred. Oh dang, I thought there was gonna be more. Also, the tomato soup. We can give him that. Couple. We can give him some orange sodas. Uh, some grape sodas, we can give them a couple, because we picked a lot of them. Uh, summit soda. Painkillers, I don't think they want that. Uh, lantern fuel they can have, because I don't have a lantern. Um, and I think that's basically it that I can give them. Tinder plug I want to keep with myself. Firearm cleaning kit, I don't think they need that. Moldy granola bar, they can have that. Salty crackers, they can have. Oh wait, we have a lot more here. Stale granola bar, they can have that as well. Oh, we're getting close, chat. We're getting close. Stale salty check, uh, crackers. If they don't eat everything, then, you know, we should be... Like a couple more runs and then we should be good to go. Tin of coffee, maybe they like that too. They can have five. And herbal tea. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give them the herbal tea and then I'm gonna keep the coffee because we also need to look at our, obviously, like our, what we carry with us in terms of weight. Um, and we still carry way too many things in weight wise. So I need to lose. Wait, maybe I can give them a little bit of water because that probably, I mean, water has no calories, I think. Hmm, do you think? Mm, yeah, probably that doesn't count. Because I think water doesn't contain calories, so let's give him let's give him like fifty. Yeah, I don't think that counted, but I did lose a little bit of weight, so that's good. People are quite particular about their coffee. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, this jerry can. We were gonna give them to that uh, that to them as well. Kerosene, which is also gives us quite a bit. So if we can find another one of these, then we should be good in that in terms of that. Uh, oh wait, bandages, we have a few as well. They need ten. Let's give them... Let's give them five. Then we are halfway there. Uh, let's see... Yeah, five... Okay, so we, we're getting closer, chat. We're getting closer to giving them everything they need. Which is good. Um, Alright, let's... Can we talk to him? And does he have anything else to say other than... You know, the storm is coming. He still does not. The storm is coming and the I know. Are I know. Don't delay, my child. Listen, you you sending me out there, um, and I'm I'm have to do everything by myself. And this guy, we 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 saved him, and yet nobody seems to care. I've got 
you. Where do I drop this guy? Like, I don't get it. Should I drop him, like, give him to, uh... Place the survivor to interact? Should I put him here? Don't fall Boom! Stay with me. Easy. Just gonna see if I can help. I'm not sure if I should just wait until he's like 100%, but... I don't know if that's the thing. Like, I need to wait until he's 100%. It's okay. It's okay. Because, like, again, this is the only place I can put him other than, you know, this bed roll, but that doesn't really do... anything. Like... Wait, was that it? Okay, so I just had to put him here. Alright, well, awesome. Oh yeah, and he still has nothing else to say? Okay. You're making good progress. Thank you. Your efforts are making a difference. I know. But there's still work to be done. I also know that. Because people are particular and they don't necessarily I mean I'm I'm literally the only one doing this, you know? Like nobody's helping me. All right, let's see if we have any more progress on this episode so far. Uh, Keeps, thanks so much for the host. I appreciate it. Still 50%, which is so weird. Okay, but now that we have some more space, um, let's quickly go back outside again, hoping that the weather is not too bad. Um, and now let's see if we can go back to that shelter. Oh wait, I'm hungry as well. Oh yeah, let's let's eat something quick. Um, let's get some sardines. All right, cool. Uh, we checked in there, I believe. There was nothing there. Um, so let's go to let's go back to the um to that bunker. Uh, also, Zephyr, to you, well, uh, thanks so much for the host. Hecken, appreciate it. And again, anyone that just came in, um, welcome on in. Good to have you. For those of you who are streamers among us, uh, I just posted a new video today on my YouTube channel, which has some uh, free resources that you can use as a streamer. Which you might find interesting. Uh, and if you do, then I would heck and appreciate it if you guys would also leave a, um, uh, a follow on my YouTube channel. As I'm trying to get to YouTube partner, um, well, I'm hoping before the end of the year, but that might be a little bit, um, you know, ambitious. But yeah, any, any little help definitely helps me as well. So if you like my content over on YouTube, then... I would heck and appreciate uh, the support there as well. And as you guys know, uh, a like or a follow on YouTube, subscription on YouTube doesn't cost a thing. But it does ha help me quite a bit. Streamers Among Us sounds like a nice game. <laughs> okay, any food in here? Nope. Empty, 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 empty. 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 Nothing here. Nothing here. Search. Empty, 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 empty. Wait, what's inside this one? Socks. I don't care for those. Alright, so I think I've, I've been here before. I took everything. I reckon. Okay. Um, in that case, let's go back outside. Let's go back to the bunker. Because there was quite a few things that I can still take. And then I think I have to find some more locations that I can get some uh, things like firewood or something. For. Although I think I can also break down these these logs or like these pieces of wood that are here. Um. Oh, I don't have a hatchet. Okay, so if I find one, I can use that as well for some firewood. Uh, Lily Fairy, welcome on in. Hello, hello. All right. Uh, where did we find the entrance again? Oh yeah, it was up here. Wait, was it up here? I think so. I mean, I can't remember this giant sort of hillside here because last time I was here there was like such a blizzard I couldn't see like 
I couldn't see my hands in front of my, my eyes. Almost. So I didn't see this entire structure. Even though I guess clearly it was there. I didn't see it. Chapter 4 is finally out. I know! I know! Uh, I only discovered, well, sort of today, that I didn't even finish Chapter 3. So I'm still working on Chapter 3, which is, you know, what we're currently playing. Uh, and then after that, I'm so excited to continue on to Episode 4. I've been waiting uh, almost two years to play that. But for some reason, two years ago, I was working my way through Chapter 3, Episode 3, which is what we're playing currently. And uh, for some reason, I stopped playing. I don't know why, but I was like, yeah, I'm done. No, 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 stop, stop. Wait, did I take it? Oh, I did take it. Okay. Which is actually going to put everything away manually. Carry this load for much longer. Yeah, 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 we're fine. Relax. You got this. Yeah, oh, yeah, these things, they're going to definitely make like a massive difference in terms of... Um... Okay, you know what? I'm going to eat one of those, I think. Um, like, these things are going to make a massive difference when it comes to the food that, like, the food supply in the, um, in the church. Perfect. All right. Let's exit. Uh, we do have a lot of stuff with us, so we're not going to walk very fast, but, um, that's okay. The weather is better. Um, sun is still up. So we're just going to have a nice little a short, like, you know, commute ahead of us. I'm going to do the auto walk again so I can, you know, focus on you. I'm a bit ahead of you. So do you happen to know how much longer this chapter still is? Because I'm working still on the, um, well, the thing that I'm st currently working on is the church. Uh, so I just did the survivors. So I have, um, I have all of the survivors. I returned them. I found all of the caches. So I'm basically working on this, but I'm wondering if this is like the last thing that I have to do or if I have to do more than that. No, sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Um, so I have like a complete playthrough of, of these of this game uh, on my, my second YouTube channel. So I, I was watching because I saw they announced the release date for episode 4. I saw them announcing that like, like two weeks ago, I guess. Um... So I was watching on that YouTube channel to see like, okay, when when was the last time I played this? And then I realized that I never finished, or I, I mean, I didn't know for sure, but I saw that I never posted like a video of me finishing um, episode three. So I was like, wait, that's so weird. Why would I not have finished episode three? And I was thinking about it today and I was, I think it might have been because of the release of uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening on Switch. Um, and I think... Because I started playing that, I forgot to continue with this game. That's the only explanation that I have for why I never actually finished um, episode 3. So yeah, that's what we're doing uh, right now, and I'm super excited to continue onward to episode 4 after that. I've never played this game, but it looks really cool. Yeah, like, if you like story-driven games, if you like survival elements, because this game has a lot of survival elements, like, you can see in the lower left-hand corner there, those four little meters, radials, whatever you want to call them. Um, those represent like my current health status, like my health effect. So uh, going from left to right, we have temperature, uh, we have energy, we have uh, water and we have food. Um, so basically I need to keep an eye on all four of them. And then below that is my health bar. So if my, en if my temperature drops, then my health bar will go down because then I will get hypothermia. If my energy drops, I can't walk as fast anymore. And I can't, you know, like, see things as easily anymore, so I need to get some sleep. If my water drops, I need to get something to drink. Uh, and if my food drops, I need to get something to eat, obviously. Um, and, like, the environment plays a, a big part, because now the weather is clear. Uh, it's not stormy, it's not snowy, so, you know, the, the temperature is just okay. And other than that, you know, you also have things like clothing items, so you need to make sure that, you know, your clothing also keeps you as warm as possible. But if, it, if there's a storm, your clothing can get wet, so you need to make sure that you switch out your pieces of clothing for dry ones. Otherwise, you know, in wet clothing, you get more, you get cold more easily. Um, so it's definitely a very interesting and, 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 and pretty deep survival simulation as well. The only, like the only downside, quote unquote, like I'm not sure if you can call it a downside, but like the only negative thing with this game is that it's it's definitely a lot of walking like as you can see now i'm walking back to the uh, community center that i was at just now um 
And like, I can't do anything. I can't move faster. I can't, you know, I can't run because um, I'm carrying too much things. So you can see here as well, like my backpack, I'm, I'm, I can carry uh, 40 items or 40 kilos, but I'm carrying currently 55. So I'm carrying way too much. That's why I'm walking slower. Um, and I'm not sure if you were here before, but like, you know, walking back from a, a mission that we just did all the way back to here. I mean, there was a lot of walking involved. So if you don't like walking simulators, then maybe this is not the game for you. Um, like sometimes I definitely was like, yeah, there's a lot of walking. Like, like for now, I mean, I have a macro on my keyboard that just basically pushes a W key for me. So I don't have to do it myself. Uh, and I can just kind of chill and focus on you guys while she is doing all the heavy work. Um, but that's definitely something you need to sort of realize when playing this game. There's a lot of walking involved. Uh, Sin, hello, welcome. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome, puppy. Storms can damage clothing too. Yeah, so like, yeah, so your clothing can get wet and also it can get damaged. And you can find like sewing kits uh, all over the place so you can, you know, repair your damaged clothing. But for that, you also need to have like cotton or like leather or like other materials to, um, you know, patch up your clothing. So I feel the simulation in the game is, is fairly deep. The only thing that I sort of, I was talking about that before, the only thing that I sort of dislike is that She's wearing like several layers of clothing. Like she's wearing like a thick t-shirt and like another t-shirt on top and then like a jacket and like another jacket on top. And then she has like um, long johns or like, you know, like long thermal underwear, two pairs of that. Uh, she wears like two pairs of, of pants. So she's pretty like, you know, she's pretty covered um, pretty heavily. So I would say if you would be carrying like, you know, 40 kilograms or 50 kilograms in your backpack, um, you would start to get sweaty from like all the stuff that you wear and then like the exertion or like the activity that you have to put in. Um, and therefore when you get sweaty, you usually also get warm. Um, but that's, you know, that doesn't give you temperature in this game. So like wearing all these layers and then doing like heavy activity while wearing those layers um, doesn't warm you up. <laughs> Only fire and like being indoors does. Which is like the only like... Maybe the only sort of like downside that I have with the uh, with the simulation, <laughs> if that makes sense. All right, well we are back. Perfect. The church is on fire. I don't think it was. If it is, then I would be so pissed because I did so much work trying to find all these items and then the church would be on fire. That would be like, you know, Mr. Santa Claus or Karl Marx over there. He could have t kept like a better eye on things. All right, I'm fairly certain that we can now, with all those military grade food packages, we can definitely check off our food supplies, I think. Um, yeah, they are definitely going to help. There we go. Then we need antiseptic. I don't think we had any more of that. I think. Um, also, I mean, I'm going to leave. I'm probably going to leave a couple more. Because um, they are quite heavy. And I don't need, like, five of them. So I can always come back and pick some up from, from these guys. Uh, hunting knife. I don't need two of them either. Um, kerosene. I think I brought something. Some more lighter fluid with me. I want to say, oh yeah, accelerant, but that didn't count, sadly. Um, firewood, I did bring a lot of firewood, where is it? All these logs that I took, where are they? Wait, where are my, oh here, here they are. 10 kilograms, that's going to help, I, I think, quite a bit. Let's give them all of that. Wait, there wasn't a lot of firewood, though? Um, cloth. Wait, can I turn... I, I mean, I might be able to turn cloth into bandages, but I need to find, like, a workshop or, like, a, a, a work station. Is lamp oil? Wait, yeah, so lamp oil is, is, is accelerant. But for some reason... Or lamp oil... Uh, oh, yeah, wait, that's the kerosene. I think. Oh, wait, now that's the firewood. Perfect. Maybe, wait, maybe I shouldn't give all of that away. I think this doesn't count a marine flare. No, that doesn't do anything, but I'll just leave one of them here anyway. Um, mm, 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 mm. I mean, obviously, I don't want to give them too much because I also want to uh, keep a little bit for myself. 
Um, these cans, I mean, I can just dump them because I don't need them. Uh, fire striker, I'm gonna keep that myself. Okay, so we got we're done on food. We just need two more antiseptics. Surrounded we need, by snow and nothing to drink. We, oh wait, are you thirsty? We need more kerosene. We need more bandages, and we need one distress pistol, which kind of sucks because I found one earlier, and I don't feel like walking all the way back, but I kind of fear that I am gonna have to. Um. Okay, I need to think because I don't want to like I'm I'm still carrying way too much th uh, stuff. So I'm guessing I'm going to leave a few things in this trunk here that I don't necessarily need like right now. Um actually no, wait. Let's first check out my weapons. Um where's that? Oh, here we go. Let's see, wait. Actions clean. Yeah, let's clean it. The stuff in the jerry can is kerosene. Yeah, I, f I found a jerry can earlier. Um, all right, let's clean this one as well. And then I'm gonna leave those cleaning kits here. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think I need to clean this. Nope. All right. Um, I'm gonna leave weapons. Weapons. Here we go. Uh, this one. I'm gonna leave a couple of these flares because they are quite heavy and I don't need that many. Uh, I'm gonna leave a sewing kit. Actually, I'm gonna leave the full one and the full sewing kit. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Also, it's funny, they're all coughing and I'm like, dude, can you stop coughing? I mean, you know, we're living in a pandemic. I don't want you guys coughing all that much. But obviously this game, they, they have other things to worry about than a pandemic. <laughs> Alright, let's drink something too. Um, let's drink a uh, grape soda. Uh, and let's drink some water maybe as well. Actually, no, let's keep it to soda. Because I want to save my water for on the road. Um, Alright, so. Local tales of a Sasquatch. So I'm kind of thinking, I'm like, I'm wondering where I can find more items. I'm thinking I'm just going to have to kind of walk and explore the environment. Um, books describing old. I mean, I don't necessarily care for these. Um, I'm not sure if I care for these um, quests, like these side quests. I'm not really thinking I do. But I do need to find more supplies, so I'm kind of leaning towards maybe going this direction. Hoping there are some cabins, like somewhere here along the way, um, that I can use to get some more supplies. Because, I mean, I know there was a cabin, or I know there was something, I think, back here. Uh, and I think there was also something back, like, all the way back here. Um, but I don't feel like walking back all that way. But if we have to, then I'm, you know, I'm gonna have to. Because I know that there is, I think in this prepper cache, there is a, uh, a flare gun, I'm fa fairly certain of, that they still need here. Uh, I can also go here if I have to, but yeah, I'm thinking I'm first going to go search in this direction, hoping there might be buildings that aren't on the map just yet. If not, I might be um, a little bit, you know, screwed. Uh, but for now, I think I'm going to get some sleep or some sleep first. Um, so hopefully we can... Kind of outsleep the um, the night because I don't want to go out when it's dark. Ideally, what time is it? Oh, the sun is almost rising. That's kind of basically almost perfect. Um, I mean it's not perfect, but almost perfect. Uh, let's see, six liters. I think I still have a little bit of water in here that I might take with me again because I don't think it counted as... Uh, I don't think it counted as, like, actual calories. Um, maybe I can also leave some clothing items here. That might be heavy. I mean, it's still dark out, but, like, the sun is rising. So if we go now, we might... We might get some daylight. Uh, later. Alright, let's 
Lose half of that. Let's... Hello? Let's drop these pants. Because they're heavy. Let's drop these boots. Because they are quite heavy. Um, mm, 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 mm. Another pair of pants that are heavy. Alright, I think that's good. Okay, I'm gonna go out. Hopefully you will see me again soon. If not, um, well, please come search for me like I did for your people. Alright? Thanks. All right, I think I also searched most of the um, buildings here. At least the ones that, you know, still ha are buildings. Um, but let's just be super duper safe and check out if I actually did. Oh crap, it actually, it's actually pretty dark here. Um... Freezer search, matches. Yeah, I think I took everything from here. Okay. By the way, how is everyone doing today, chat? Hopefully all doing okay. I uh, can appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out with, uh, with us tonight. Uh, and like I said before, you know, I mean, my YouTube channel... Um, it's not just for, uh, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm, I was just like, hey, please go ahead and follow me over there as well. It's not just for like, you know, for my videos. I'm definitely also thinking of streaming there every once in a while too. Um, and I would love to have you guys, you know, be able to watch my streams there as well. So if you want to catch my streams on YouTube, then definitely uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel there as well. Uh, I don't have anything set in stone just yet as of, like, when I will do that, but I might do it, like, once every, like, two weeks or something. Um, like, I was thinking, like, maybe do, like, a Wednesday stream every every other week on, on YouTube. Um, so, yeah, if you were, if you would like to uh, be part of that community there as well, then you know what to do. Uh, I'm just sorting out my Magic the Gathering cards before I go to bed. Ooh, nice. Are you gonna... Are you planning on, like, playing some soon? Some some Magic games? I'm definitely looking forward to catch more YouTube streams. It's quite new to me. Yeah, same. Like, I did one YouTube stream um, back when it was, like, a day off of Twitch. Uh, like, in September. Uh, so that was, like, my first YouTube stream that I did. But I really enjoyed it. Like, it was a different experience, but... I always liked that. Like, it felt like something... It felt like fun doing, like, something new. Um, and I kind of love how, like, I mean, I've been on YouTube for, like, five, six years now, I guess, doing videos. But it was, like, my first time doing, like, a live, like, a live videos, and it was, like, completely new, and I really enjoyed that. I usually play when I go visit friends once every month or so. Nice! I've never played Magic. Like, I don't really get it, I guess. But you know, if you're if you're having a fun time, then that's the most important thing. All right, I'm really hoping that we can find like some shelter there too, because clearly the weather is um, getting worse. You can see the temperature in the lower left is um, dropping and fast. Even though the sun is rising, you would say that would help. Um, but yeah, no. I may go to Manchester and look for some local players. Nice. Nice, nice. Without, um, like, you know, obviously doxing your current location, is Manchester, like, anywhere close to where you live? Is that a wolf? I think it is. Crap. Because um, I was talking to a friend of mine who lives uh, in, in, in London, and I was like, I, I, I really don't know, like, the geography of the UK that much. Like, I know... Um, I believe there's quite a few, like, furries and puppies in Manchester as well, because I see them on Twitter being like... Um, um, like on Twitter, everyone is like, oh yeah, I go to Manchester because there's, there's a lot of furries and puppies there. Um, but I always thought that Manchester was kind of like part of London somehow. I don't know why I thought that, but I thought like maybe like a neighborhood or like an area in London. Um, but I guess it's all like sort of like in, in, a, in a similar location, I guess. I can't feel my hands. About 30 minutes by train. Liverpool is close too. London for me is about 2 hours and 30 minutes on the train. Oh wait, so it's actually not nearby at all. Oh, I, I thought that. Wow. See, that's that's me with my my bad knowledge of like geography of the UK. 
I want to visit London soon though. Like I haven't been in such a long time and I I, I kind of want to I really miss like visiting new places. I kind of noticed that recently that I kind of want to be like I, I kind of want to go to new places again, like new cities and explore cities again. Since the last like holiday that I had was my honeymoon to New York City, which was um 2018. Was it 2018? Heck yeah, I think it was. 2018. I've never felt so cold in my life. Is that right? Yeah, because I got married in 2017. This year is my fourth wedding anniversary. Yeah, so I'm I'm it's been four yeah, three years since I've been to New York City. Wow, that that was my last like major holiday. Manchester scene is pretty big for race two. Uh, they are very far from each other, both kind of similar in being big cities. Manchester Puppy sounds like a soccer team. <laughs> oh, well, that's a team I would join. Absolutely. Please welcome to the stage the Manchester Puppies. Oh, crap. There's nothing here. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait. There is a, there's a bench. Or like, you know, a, a place we can sit. And there's a deer. Why doesn't England have a designated kidney bank? Why? They have a Liverpool. <laughs> wow, did you come up with that yourself? That's a pretty good one. I like that. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's any buildings here. Um, which I was kind of hoping for, but sadly, I think uh, I'm shit out of luck. I was in New York about 11 years ago when I met my ex. Yeah, it's funny. I still want to go back to New York. Like, I still sort of miss it every single day. Um, New York, sort of, like, I, I, I've said this, I think I told about this on stream many times. For some reason, I feel such a strong connection to New York City. Um, like, I always joke that I was sort of born in the wrong country. Or, like, the wrong city, rather. Um, like, I feel like, I've, I feel on the inside, or like, you know, maybe in a previous life, I was just, I was just a New Yorker. Um... Because, you know, that city just felt like home to me. Also, there's a bear that I should watch out for. Um, so I still miss it. But I like, in general, I kind of miss traveling and, and, and exploring new cities. But with the pandemic, obviously, that didn't make it easy to explore and, and, and visit new cities. And then me being without a job and therefore have, not having as much money also doesn't really help. Since, you know, traveling is, is, is not cheap. Um, so, yeah. I'm a scam. Because <laughs> you don't come up with your own jokes. That's okay, though. As long as they're still funny. Had uh, last month memories on my phone about New York. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I get those, too. Like, here's a here's a memory you th we think you might enjoy. I'm like, yeah, I totally enjoy that. But I also, s like, super duper miss it. Uh, have you things there to see on my bucket list? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we spent um, like 16 days in the city on our honeymoon. Um, although like, I think it was technically like four, 14 days because one day we had like a day trip back and forth to uh, Washington, D.C. And then we had a two day trip to um, Boston, which was awesome. Like we drove there by train on the Amtrak and then we went back by car. Um, which was like a super nice sort of road trip. I really enjoyed that. Um, but so we spent like 14 days in the city and like all of my friends, like my colleagues at the time and my friends were all like, dude, you're going to spend 14 days in New York City. You're going to get so bored. Like you, you, you don't have, you can't spend 14 days in the city. Um, and when they said that, I was like, yeah, you know what? You, I, I think you are absolutely wrong, but you know, we'll see. We'll see. And they, I, they definitely were wrong. Like if I had the time, I would have been able to spend like another month in the city without being bored. Um, like I was having such a good time. And there's still many things that we didn't even get to see. Even though we spent uh, like 14 days there, I didn't even get to see everything that I wanted to, so. There's a lot to see. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, I was we were coming back. Uh, also, there's a radio tower there. Is that on my map? I don't think it is. Um, like, we were back, and like a couple of weeks after we came back, or like maybe a, a few months, I don't know, but like a, a while after we came back, I saw like a YouTube video or something on... Um, on like Coney Island and like uh, the ferries to um, like, you know, the ferries that you can take. I was like, 
Wait, we didn't even do that. Why didn't we... We spent like two weeks in the city. We didn't even go to Coney Island. We didn't even take one of those ferry ferries to like places. Um, how did we sort of forget about that? <laughs> uh, please tell me there's a bis building here. Okay, there is, sort of is, but you know, like it's... it's Yeah. Okay, well, let's see if we can find some supplies. Also, there is a... I have a playlist on my YouTube channel. Um... Uh, with like, you know, a vlog series of my trip to New York City. Um, so if any of you are like interested in, in what we did on our honeymoon, you can go ahead and, and check that out on my uh, YouTube. Um, most of them are subtitled in English, like the videos are in Dutch, but then most of them have English subtitles. I think there's two that I still need to subtitle. So there's like two videos that you won't be able to see just yet. But other than that, um, all of them you can watch and see if you are interested. It'll be useful. Oh, this will be useful, yes. And a distress pistol, perfect. Okay, this is actually perfect. The hacksaw, some more firewood. Okay, so if I can get inside, that would be great, because then I can actually... Oh, this is good. This is almost... Is getting too heavy to carry. Yeah, but this is like a lot of the stuff that I still needed. Oh, I'm not sure if I can open this. I don't have a key. I wonder if I can find a key somewhere. Don't think so. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But that's okay. Let's uh, let's eat something. Um, let's eat one of these uh, military grade stuff. And then hopefully I can make it back before sunset. Because I feel that we have a lot of the supplies that we need for the church. Right now. The sun is still coming up, so I'm thinking we should be able to make it back before sunset. Um, the only downside, obviously, is that now we carry a lot more stuff. Um, so it's going to go a little bit slower. On the 28th of September 2017, I was in a Christmas store in New York. Oh yeah, the one at Times Square. Or like, you know, next to Times Square. Yeah, that was quite the experience. We were there in um, in May. Yeah, I think we were there in May in, in, the, in the city. Uh, so we also visited that Christmas store, but it was kind of crazy. Like an entire store filled with like nothing but Christmas items. Uh, Christmas music, like it was... What the hell did I do? Missy, what, what the hell are you doing? Painkillers? Yeah, take some painkillers, dude. On my left hand. Oh, I fell. Why didn't that work? Oh, we didn't? Wait, bandage on my left hand? Sprained wrist? That did work? Okay, so what else do we have? I didn't do anything crap, and then I didn't want to use that bandage because I had three. Uh, Lion Cheeks, how are you doing? Enjoyed playing last night, Jordy. Thanks for the DVD matches. And yeah, absolutely. I had a fun time too. I mean, you know, obviously thanks to uh, 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 Rex, the good boy, for inviting uh, me and slash us. But yeah, I had a good time. And thank you for stopping by. How are you doing? Welcome in. Hello, hello, hello. Alright, I'm kind of bummed because I did have enough bandages to give to the church and then leave one. And then I used it without it having any effect, which was kind of a bummer, but... That's okay. We'll, uh, we'll find some more. Uh, I'm gonna use my macro again so I don't have to walk myself. And I'm feeling if we should be, if we should not encounter any like wolves or anything like that, I feel pretty confident that we would have hopefully enough kerosene for the church, hopefully enough fuel as well with the firewood that we found. So then we, and we have a distress pistol, which is great as well. So I think most of these supplies that we found, I'm hoping that we can, you know, check them off. I'm doing good. I got the full-time job I applied for. Going up from 16 hours part-time a week to 48 hours a week. Nice! 
I mean, I'm assuming you 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 you're happy with that, seeing that you applied for that. I mean, it's a big. That's obviously like a big increase of of time, but um. Well, assuming that you are you are happy, then then you know, hey, good for you, and a pay raise, nice. Do you mind me asking what your new job is? Like, feel free to not answer that if you feel it's too personal, but um, I'm just curious. I mean, 48 hours a week is quite a lot in terms of, you know, work. Um, I'm currently unemployed, um, seeing as I'm dealing with, uh, I'm still recovering from, like, mental health issues. Um, but once, you know, once I'm going back for a job again, I definitely don't want to... Um, I don't want to do, like, more than 32 hours. Like, four days is definitely my max. Um, so like 48 hours? Yeah, I don't know. Wouldn't be my thing, I guess. <laughs> Squeeze into four days on, uh, four days on, four days off. Wow. So wait, four days? You do 48 hours in four days? What kind of job is that? Again, if you don't mind me asking, is that like in the medical field maybe? Or like in like... Like the only thing I can think of is like in the medical field or like... Like an oil rig or something like that. Uh, job is stripping down machinery, cleaning it, and putting it back together. Wow, and then you do that 48 hours a week? That's, um... That's something. 12 hours a day? Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Is that, like, 12 hours a day? I mean, hey, again, if, if, if you if you are comfortable with that and you, you, you can manage that, then good for you. Congratulations on the new job. We are walking and we have a lot to carry. Are we still going in the right way? I think we are. Yep, there's the bridge. Twelve hours a day. I also would like thirty-two hours a week, but that would also be twenty percent less less money. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's tr that's true. Um, I mean, obviously, that's like a you know, that's that's like a uh, um, like a trade-off. For me, I feel that you know, my mental health is more important than like a little bit more money. Um. So yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, I would love to have more money as well, but um, I also, I also kind of value my freedom and and like my 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 hobby and like you know being able to have time to work on like YouTube videos and stream and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, like having having experienced the things that I have in the last couple of years, I know that like for me, four days a week is definitely um, I think is like the best thing to do. Free time is important. Yeah, like I've had, I've had like my my last couple of years working. I my work life balance has has been pretty off. Um, like I I, I did like three ish. Well, I mean I did like five years working in like um in like the northern part of the country. I live in the southern part, so basically I spent like five years commuting four hours a day to my job. Uh, and and back. so like two hours a day to my job and then two hours back. So I like four hours a day I did commuting, um, meaning that I had to get up very early because you know I had to get up like at six ish to make sure that I was there in time. Uh, and then I always always was kind of home rather late, like past eight ish. Um, I had to eat dinner when I come came home, and then I had like a couple of hours, like maybe two or three hours that I had, um, if even that where I could, you know, do video games or streaming or anything like that. Um, and then I had to go to sleep again because, you know, the next morning I had to wake up early as well. And I'm not a, I'm not like a morning person. I'm definitely an evening person. So most times I spent, I was up way too late, um, like past, past 12. 
and then I had to get up like super early again. Um, and like the later it, wa it was in the week, I noticed that my energy levels were like dropping so much because I, I just didn't get enough sleep. Um, and I did that for like five years. So then I had like a minor sort of, well, not a burnout, but like a minor sort of overworked moment. Uh, then I got another job closer by, which was nice, but I lost that. And then I had another job, which also was like long hours. And that kind of gave me my, um, like my, uh, my, my current sort of mental health issues that I have. So I guess I've learned from, from those experiences that like work life balance is definitely important. And my, my, my work life balance was always a little bit off because, because of like traveling and commuting there and everything. So, so yeah. I'm on my sixth year. Um, I'm on my sixth year at work. May try a career change soon. We'll see. I don't like staying up too late. I like my mornings. Well, I, I mean, I don't like. I mean, I like. I like to get up early, but I also like sleep, and I definitely like to stay up late and do things. Like I'm, like I said, I'm definitely like an evening person. Like I usually have more energy in, in the evening than I have in the morning. Weirdly enough, like yesterday. Um, I was playing video games with uh, like with some other some other people um, and it was like 1 30 a.m. 2 a.m. something like that and I was like not tired at all but I was like yeah I'm just gonna go get some sleep because otherwise you know yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna stay up way too late but I'm the, I was like not tired um so like yeah I'm definitely like an evening person I'm happy to uh, work a few days from home now we'll keep doing that yeah I, I think with like this pandemic I think a lot of people will transition maybe and like doing more working from home um, because it just saves them like a lot of time uh, and they can use that time for, you know, like, you know, you, you can just use that time. Like any time that you don't have to spend working or commuting or anything like that, I think is, is like time that you win. Uh, Kilborn, how are you doing? Welcome on in. I hope everyone is doing great. Yeah, I'm doing okay. How are you? I also have to travel about one hour to and from uh, work. Yeah, I mean, l l I mean, I don't want to like, you know, downplay other people's experiences when I say that I had to travel four hours a day, um, like just commute. Like I had to spend four hours a day just commuting. Like I know some people might have to do the same or maybe even more than that. I don't know. Like I'm not saying that my my case was like exceptional or, you know, like over the top or whatever. But for, I noticed that for me, it was just too much. That's kind of the thing that I'm trying to say. Uh, also, I need to get something to eat or some to drink soon. Um, maybe I need to set up a uh, wait a um, fire soon. Can I just drop that here? Like I know it's super in the like randomly in the middle, but um, all right, start a fire. I don't. I mean, I don't need. Yeah, 33 minutes, That's that should be enough. Alright. We did start the fire. Dreden 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 Why dreden not dreden work? dreden I was so certain that it actually didn't work, but then it suddenly didn't. Wait, was there a building there? Crap, no, there wasn't. Okay, so... Um, mm, 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 I, I think I'm gonna have to try again, because I think without the fire, I'm not gonna... Snow shelter. Five, 56 and 5 cloths to build, okay. Yeah, I definitely need to start a fire, because otherwise it's... Uh, too far away to place object. Wait, from where though? Okay, wait. Let's let's go up this hill first. Also happy to be a few days uh, a week at work again. Good to see colleagues. Yeah, it's it might sound weird, but I absolutely don't miss work. Like I'm not sure if that sounds weird, but like I I absolutely don't feel like I miss it at all. Um, I don't know. Maybe that makes me sound antisocial or anything, but um. Like I've heard, indeed, like a friend of mine, she she recently switched um, jobs and also like companies. Um, 
So she had like, I think like six weeks off between like her old job and then like six weeks. Um, hello? Uh, six weeks to like, you know, her, her new job. Um, and she was like, yeah, I was so happy that I was able to go back to work again because I really missed it. And I was like, hmm, yeah, I don't have that. Like, I really don't miss my job. Like, I don't miss working or anything like that. Um, on, little fire. But I guess maybe that also might be because I'm like a little bit of an introvert. Like, I don't necessarily like having too many people around me, if that makes sense. Um... Oh yeah, take a torch. That's good. Maybe we can cook some of these peaches to warm us up as well. Just finished chapter three. Nice. Okay, so can you tell me without spoiling, can you tell me that if I complete the, the list in the church, um, is that going to be good? Like, do I need to do anything in particular, like a lot more? Uh, oh crap, did I give them all the energy drinks? Because I'm kind of hoping that once I complete the the list of like items in the church, that that will be the, like the end of the uh, of the chapter. But I'm not sure if that's the case. I'm ways off. Ooh, okay. Wow. And here I thought we were gonna start with chapter three today. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. Okay, let's eat this. As much as I enjoyed being at home, I was glad to be back at the office. I don't think I survive without work, mostly because of the money. I need money. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's that's absolutely like, you know, I, I definitely enjoy money, too. I don't mind getting money. Circled can. Oh, yeah, let's make some. Yeah, let's melt some slow, S some slow. Let's melt some snow. Can we cook something else? No cook slots available. Okay. Oh, wait, no, leave it. Okay, take it, take it, campfire, wait, can I just, oh wait, I know, I do want to take those cans, yeah, uh, pick up, pick up. How do you call a snowman in the summer? A puddle. <laughs> wow. Uh, thank you for those biddies, Martin, I appreciate it. Um... Expired warming up, yeah. So I need to go quick now because my uh, my health is not very high. Um, oh crap! There's a wolf there. Wait, why is that wolf constantly afraid of me? Like I don't mind. Like at, le at least he leaves me alone, but I don't get it. Like what am I? What have what have I done? All right, come on. Do I have anything that will uh, help me heal? Uh, also, Chaotic, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Mm. Stop in infection, reduce pain, short burst of energy, then you collapse from exhaustion, use as a last resort. Oh, wait, here's the energy drink. There we go. I didn't realize that was going to be good for, uh, or that was going to be part of the, like, health menu. Chapter 4, here I come. Nice. I'm pretty good playing some uh, TCG today. Just got home. TCG. Something trading card game? No. Tokyo. No, wait. Oh, trading card games? Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait. TCG, what's that? Okay, gotcha. Nice, which ones are you playing? Uh, I think Zephyr was just talking about, like, magic. Magic is the gathering. It would be so nice if anyone from, like, the church could come and, like, come towards me and pick me up while I'm trying to not die. But I don't have a phone or anything, so I can't, like, contact them and be like, Hey, listen, uh, I'm still a ways off. Can someone, like, pick me up, perhaps? Digimon, nice. Digimon, digital monsters. Da -da 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 -da. I never knew what they sang. 
I never knew, I never understood what they sang. Like, what do they sing? Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon, blah, 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 blah. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Super Cards, but I don't really own Wait, I didn't know there was a Dragon Ball trading card game. That's kind of cool. How many cards do you have, Zephyr, of the Dragon Ball trading card game? Are there, is it more or less than 8,999? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a very lame joke, a very cheap joke as well. Okay, let's take a little bit of a shortcut because there, that's where I have to go. So let's, instead of following the path, let's just go over these hills because that will hopefully be slightly quicker. Definitely less than 9,000. Okay. <laughs> Final Fantasy. Wait, there's a Final Fantasy card game? I didn't know that. Oh, wait, I'm out of energy again. Come on, you're so close. You're so close. Look at look look there. I can see I can literally see the building we have to go to. Wait, okay, let's drink another one of those energy drinks because I think I'm gonna need it. Right, go. Go! How are we doing on sun? Oh man, I always hate sleeping in like the middle of the day because it feels like I'm wasting time and and like resources, like I'm wasting time and, and, and food. But at the same time, I feel that she needs it. So I guess it's like the best thing to do, but I, I kind of hate doing it. But there's the church, so I'm thinking we should be good in terms of making it. My character's hands are blue. Yeah, which is stupid because I am wearing uh, gloves, but for some reason they don't show them. But she is wearing gloves. I'm kind of bummed though that I'm still a ways off from finishing this uh, this chapter. I honestly thought that I was gonna start with chapter four. Like maybe I, I thought that maybe I had to do like one or two things in this episode, and then apparently I don't. So I'm a little bit bummed out by that, but at the same time, you know, gives us more things to enjoy. Maybe the hands are part of the gun. I mean, well, I also don't have legs. Like I'm just a floating, a floating camera. Which is always a bit of a pet peeve of mine in games. <laughs> like, not gonna lie. I always hate it when you are, like, not when you don't have any hands, you're just a floating camera. Is this a beta game? No, I think it's not. It's, I think it's it's just like a like a full release game. Um, it hasn't been completed yet, though. Um, like, they're still adding more episodes. Like, the, the next episode of... Uh, the fourth out of five episodes for the storyline just came out today. Um... But I don't think it's still like a like a necessarily like an early release game. But maybe it is, but I don't think so. Uh, it's called The Long Dark. You can look it up on Steam. Like it's it's uh, you can find it on Steam. Um, all right, let's see. I brought weapons. I brought this distress pistol for you guys. Boom. Uh, I also have kerosene. Perfect. Uh, bandages. Uh, oh wait, five out of ten. Crap, I think I thought I had enough. Antiseptic, I needed two. Uh, also firewood. I think I brought firewood. Um, yep. Still not enough though. I need so much more firewood before they are like happy with, you know, like 48 hours. Okay, so I need bandages. Which I feel that I should be able to make, but I'm not sure if there is a, uh, a workbench in this building. 
Because uh, if there is, then I might be able to make some bandages, but I'm not sure if I can do that anywhere here. Maybe in the office. Oh wait, we can also use it in book for burning. And this book. Like, you know, they don't need it. And this book wasn't made for burning. And that's just what we'll do. One of these days, this book is gonna burn all over you. It should make Santa walk in, in this game. If you haven't put legs on the character model yet, they should call it a beta cell. I mean, there's many games, like, look, look, we don't need, we have, we have no legs, we, we're just a floating camera. And there's many games that have that, and it's like such a pet peeve of mine. I forgot that I could use this for fire as well. Like, I always hate it in games when they do that, even though it makes sense, I guess, sometimes. It's just like, you know, give, your, give my character legs. When I play a first person game, I always, the first thing I do once I control my character, I look down. See if it has legs. If it doesn't, I'm just like, ah, it's a shame. Uh, okay, so we're gonna drop these books off because they are can be used for firewood. Um, and I'm not gonna read them myself. Um, how is this for firewood? Let's see. If we leave, wait, I can't drop that off. That's one hour. I mean, I do want to keep some myself, obviously, because I don't want to have, like, no firewood. Um, all right. I think if I can find, like, a workbench, I can get more bandages. No pepper today? Uh, what do you mean? I'm always a pepper. Peppy is in inside of me. Um, bah, 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 bah. Um, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. How much am I carrying? Um, wait, why can I only carry 20? Oh, because I'm tired. Yeah, let's get some sleep. As much as I don't want to because it's still light out. Let's sleep for 12 hours. Oh, you meant the avatar? I mean, I, I I thought you were talking about my pup hood, which I also wore last Friday on stream. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, not today. Okay, so our hypothermia is healed. He's still standing there. Like he he never sleeps. He's just chilling. This guy never sleeps. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. I mean, I just have water for you if you want to. I mean, you don't have to drink your own pee. You can if you want to, but like you don't have to. That sounds cute. Wait, have you never seen my pup hood? I see you wearing the tank. Your boyfriend got got you. Yeah, they made a um, they made like a hanger on it, like this little. We had to bring it to the blacksmith so they could make like this little uh, circle on that. Uh, and now I can wear, like, you know, my I can wear, like, every time. I'm so happy. Tag is cool. Thank you. Yeah. I'm so happy with it. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's in the middle of the night. Let's pass some time. As long as without the benefits of sleep. Oh, wait. So sleep burns more calories. Uh, let's sleep a little bit longer then. But yeah, my plan is to do like a, uh, a a stream with my pup hood like every first Friday of the month because I do enjoy it. Like I always love seeing myself wear it. So when I'm looking over on my stream, I'm like, ah, oh, look, that's me. You know, it, it makes me so happy. Um, so the plan is to do that every um, first Friday of the month, which was last Friday. Um, so I did a puppy stream then and it was fun. I enjoyed it. Okay, how much am I carrying? Um, 38, but I can carry 35. Uh, maybe I can leave some painkillers behind because I have way too many, even though I don't think that's really gonna do a lot because they weigh like next to nothing. I haven't seen the hood, no, sorry. I haven't been in your streams for a little bit. No worries, I can I can show you. I mean, it's, it's like right here. Um. 
I mean, I'm not gonna put it on, but you know, at least you can see it. Also, Light, hello, how are you? Hello, hello. Um, so this, this is, uh, this is, this is him. Um, it's, 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 but yeah, it's basically my color. It's like, um, pink, pink and, and, and white, and then a little bit of, a little bit of gray accents behind, behind the, uh, the ears over there. Um, so yeah, I love it. Again, I, it, like I said, it, it, it makes me feel so happy whenever I wear it and I look at myself in the mirror. I'm like, oh, I don't know. It just makes me so happy. It's, it's, it sounds weird maybe, but, um, yeah. Light, how are you? Looks very well made. It is. Um, it is. It's uh, it's made by like a uh, like a, a San Francisco company that makes like um, it's like a San Francisco. Yeah, I think it's like a, a kink company. They have like all these uh, um, these items, but they they make these hoods. Uh, they weren't cheap, um, sadly. But you know, I'm 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 very happy with the quality, and and well, I'm very happy to to have one. It's kind of like I guess it's kind of like a fur suit without like the full suit, obviously. Um, but I guess, you know, people who have a fursuit and you, you know, you, you, you feel, you know, happy with, with your character and you, if you wear your suit and you see yourself wearing it, I think you can relate to like what it feels like for me when I wear the hood, if that makes sense. Doing okay. Lots and lots of work. Well, as long as you take care of yourself, like that's the most important thing. Don't burn yourself out, but I, uh, well, I trust you. That you are, you're, you're taking care of yourself. <laughs> if it makes you happy, then I'm glad, uh, very glad for you. Thank you. Which is honestly like a uh, like a um, stance more people should have. Like I know a lot of people think it's weird or they don't understand or they you know they're like why why do you like you know wearing that or why are you like a puppy or anything like that. Like people don't always understand and we talked about that recently as well that I'm like as long as people enjoy themselves and like they're not hurting anyone or they're not doing anything that's like illegal you know let's just let let people just enjoy the things that they enjoy okay so we need a couple more things uh, I'm guessing I'm do I'm gonna go here first which is you know not too far away hoping that I can find some supplies there and then walk back um I felt like that when I styled my wig for my OC and I was so happy with it. Yeah. Like to me, you know, being a puppy is just like part of like who I am. It's like part of my identity, I guess. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, like, I mean, I always say you don't need the gear to be a puppy. Like same as you don't need like a fursuit or a fursona to be a furry. Like anyone can be a furry, even if you don't have the suit or like a fursona even. Um, but to me, it really helps sort of I don't know, like amplify the happiness that is inside of me, I guess. <laughs> also, light. I saw that you got your um, what's what's it called? Your 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 kigu. Is that, is that how you pronounce it? Kigu, kigu. Did you un unpack it? Or or did, are you gonna leave the unpacking for like a, for like a stream? I did it super nice. Do you have any photos? If so, like if you posted them anywhere, can you uh, can you share them? No need to question what people like. It makes me happy when I see others happy. Yeah, exactly. Same same here. And uh, I mean, I always I always kind of sort of preach that in in streams as well and like in life in general. I always say like, hey, as long as people like things, you know, some things might not necessarily be. Um, like some things might not be my cup of tea. Like if you're like you're saying that you are into something or you like something, I might be like, well, that's not my cup of tea. But that doesn't mean that I can't just, you know, respect you for liking whatever it is. You know, as long as you are happy and you're not, you know, whatever it is that you do is, is um, you know, consensual and all that kind of stuff. Then who am I to judge you for for that? You know, as long as you're happy, then that's the most important thing. Uh, what's a Kigu? Yeah, uh, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a onesie, I guess. Um, but I guess it's kind of like a onesie, but like with, with, I th I'm not sure of like what's necessarily like the def definition of it is, but, um, it has like, you know, like a fursuit almost like head, but it's, it's like, it's like a hood. It's like not necessarily like a full head, but like more like a, 
How do you call that? Like a, like you, like you have on a hoodie as well. Like you know, just just that. I'm probably explaining it like terribly, but yeah. Uh, I thought about doing an unpacking stream, but my camera sucks, and I wouldn't even really know what to do. <laughs> yeah, I think mostly unpacking streams are like people opening the box, then unpacking the thing that's in the box, and then like, yay, I'm so excited, and then they wear the thing, and that's basically the unpacking part. <laughs> Uh, I'll post pics, but I'm going to do a cam stream in it first. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I'd love to see it. Your excitement is really mood lifting. Wait, mine or lights for for his uh, his uh, his kigu? A onesie, but it's typically more roomy and more of a costume rather than sleepwear. Yeah, although I don't actually wear my onesie as like sleepwear. I just like to wear it as. Like, you know, in like comfy Sundays when it's dark and, and cold outside, I'm like to chill in my onesie. All right, please let this door be open and please let it have some supplies. Unboxing videos are popular. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I love unboxing videos when it comes to like, well, mostly when it comes to like technology. I don't know why. Like Peter always tells me like, dude, why do you like to watch unboxing videos? They're so lame and boring. But for some reason, I love seeing like what's inside. I don't know, like what's inside, um, like phone boxes or laptop boxes or anything like that. <laughs> All right, I could break those boxes if I want to have some more. Um... Oh wait, I, I never searched this. I think I can use this. I think I can. Yeah, new chocolate bar. All right. Alright, so I have been here before, but I guess I just didn't search that backpack for some reason. I don't know why. Now, also, can I... Uh, hello? Oh, wait. Um, can I wear... Oh, wait, that scarf wasn't a... Accessory? Okay. Everyone's at this point, uh, but when you're showing off your mask and your tag and stuff, it's so cute how excited you get. Yeah! Well, thank you. And I mean, it's 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 all, like, very genuine. Like, I'm I'm genuinely super excited. Like... Whenever I get to, um, whenever I wear the mask, like, you know, off stream or like, you know, just randomly, like sometimes I just wear it when I'm like playing games in the evening or, or anything like that. Because um, I've also noticed that whenever I'm feeling down, putting on the hood and, and just looking at myself makes me feel better, I guess. Um, oh, yeah, I can make some bandages. Yes, nice. Let's craft six. Oh, nice. That's definitely something I needed. Um... But it just makes me happy to, you know, wear wear the hood and 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 and, and look at myself. Um, because every time I wear it and like I have like a full length mirror like in the corner over there, I I go and look in the mirror. I'm like seeing myself and I instantly, you know, I get a smile on my face because I, I'm just I just get so happy seeing myself. Um, all right, I kind of am low key thinking of breaking these boxes, but oh wait, I just did. I'm not sure how much energy that actually costs, but I'm guessing I can use this 1 hour 30 minutes and 300 calories. Okay, well, I need to eat something soon, but I have those military packets that I can eat. So I'm thinking I can use that wood to, um, I think it's quite a bit of firewood that I can use. Jeez. Some people are using too much time in every part of the unboxing video. Uh, this is a small pin. You can use it to remove the SIM card tray. It does not feel very firm, but it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's true. Some people like to take their time when unboxing stuff. Also, when they when they go to like all the paperwork that is inside, like all the manuals and documentation, I'm like, yeah, I, I see. It's a piece. It's there are pieces of paper. Let's move on. <laughs> um. All right. Let's eat something. Moldy peanut butter. Great. It's just nice to see people happy because there's so much negativity in the world. Uh, seeing people happy and excited is so refreshing and it likes energizes me me too. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. I'm very happy to hear that. I'm like very goal or oriented. So if I unbox, I'm going to actually unbox. It will take like five minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> Whereas I can, you know, when I would do uh, like an unboxing, I would like probably take way too long and people would be like, dude, you're literally un like if I would unbox like that Kigu, 
which is like, you know, the box is like one product and that like you open it up and it's one product. It's not like, oh, we have this and we have this and we have this. But I can definitely do like half an hour doing that because I would be like way too detailed. I would be like, wow, the box is so sturdy and it opens up and it has like this nice little thing on the box. Look at how cute the box is. You know, I would spend probably like five minutes alone just talking about the box. Which, of course, is also not really what people want. <laughs> Alright, let's leave the barn house. Although, wait, what time is it? The documentation is in German, English, Chinese. Let's see if every language uses the same amount of pages. <laughs> Alright, wait, how far away is it again? Um, yeah, I think it's best to just walk back. Let's do that. Um, am I walking the right direction? I am. Show me the Kigu. I don't need to see the washing instructions. Um, but I was, uh, I was about to say something. Yeah, so what, what you were saying, um, oh, wait, I haven't opened this thing. Oh, yes, coal. Needs this anymore. Nice. That's, that's going to be a lot of uh, fuel, I guess. Perfect. Um, but yeah, Chaotic, what you were saying, like, I, I totally agree, and I think the exact same thing. Like, that's that's also why, like, on stream, why I always try to be very positive and, like, energetic, because I feel that, like, there's so much negativity in the world, like, not just currently, but, like, basically all the time. Like, you know, turn on your TV and you see something bad happening somewhere in the world. So I, I kind of like this place to be a place where people can just come in and kind of forget about, you know, their worries that people might have personally or... Just like, you know, things that are going on in the world. Um, so I'm doing like my absolute best to make sure that, you know, this place is like an inclusive place, but also a safe place where everyone can just be themselves. Um, and we can, you know, talk about some, some people can just talk about things that they like and they can feel, I want this place to be a, a place where people feel safe and secure and confident enough to share, like, you know, things about themselves and things that they feel they can't necessarily share, like, you know, everywhere. And I, you know, luckily I get like quite a few comments of people saying that they, they do feel that way, which makes me su like super happy. Like, you know, like a couple of weeks ago we did, uh, we were streaming as part of the first ever Twitch uh, leather weekend with like, I think it were like 50 or 60 fellow streamers, uh, which are all part of the um, Pink and BDSM communities. Um, and we talked about like, you know, creating visibility for, you know, various King communities and various uh, communities within that sort of subspace. Um, of which, you know, like, you know, being a puppy, ultimately, you know, you could see, you could, uh, classify as a kink as well. So we, we try to create visibility, visibility for that as well. Um, and I think that's is very important. You know, I feel that people, whenever you talk about kinks, uh, and, and stuff like that, I feel people instantly think only of like, you know, the sexual aspect of it. And I try to show that it's, you know, there's Snow more to falling. it than that. All around you, children playing. Having fun. It's the season love and understanding. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone! Well, I mean, yeah, snow is falling, but it's also very cold. Also, I'm walking so slow. Am I even walking? Oh, yeah, I am, but my macro key is not really doing anything, I guess. What is it? I don't know. Um, You do? Ah, oh, thank you. Never heard of that. That's awesome. Yeah, so it, it was like a thing that like uh, a streamer friend of mine with another streamer kind of sort of set up. Um, like every year around the world, there's like this Folsom Street Festival, which is like a big street festival in Berlin and in um, San Francisco, which takes place. And it's like basically a street festival where people of all kinds of, uh, you know, various kinks uh, can come together in their outfits and their gear. And they can just, you know, like socialize and hang out together. Um... And they kind of wanted to make a similar thing, but like online on Twitch. Um, so that's why they created the uh, the first ever uh, Twitch leather weekend. How much am I carrying? 45? Can I leave something? Some firewood maybe? I mean, I'm carrying four kilos of firewood. Uh, I don't want to leave my firewood though. So let's eat one of these. Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I was kind of trying to set out when I joined that. I was trying to set out to show that, you know, being kinky, quote unquote, is not necessarily always 
like about sexual things even though of course there is a component to it but like for me being a puppy is like mostly a social thing um and i just i feel and like a lot of of those streamers with me want to kind of normalize um you know being part of of these communities because i think there's a lot of stigmas around it like same with furries like there's a lot of people that have like stigmas and uh, like negative connotations with being a furry um and I hope to sort of maybe, you know, be a person that can kind of dispel those um, stigmas and kind of can show that, you know, it's not always like weird or it's not it's not necessarily something bad. And that's why I'm always so open about it as well on stream. And I always encourage people to ask questions that they may have. Um, because if people come in and they are like genuinely curious about like, you know, being a puppy or being a furry or anything like that, and I can maybe like you know tell them about my experiences and like tell them what it means to me um then maybe by like educating themselves they will maybe get more understanding for it or maybe even um yeah like yeah like mostly i get i guess like get more understanding for it all right we made it back also what is up with my lamp behind me i just noticed how bright and white it is what's up with that if, there, if we have a sub, can we set it to, like, pink or blue, maybe? I, I think blue is nice. To fit the cold theme of the, uh, of the game currently. <laughs> I mean, I can do it myself, but I, I just kind of... There we go. I just kind of wanted someone else to show it off. All right, we made it back. No Christmas stream. I do. I definitely do think I want to do like a scary stream this month, like at the end, at the end of the month. I'm not sure what game. I still want to play Phasmophobia at some point. I've never played it. Um, let's see. Let's transfer. Like I don't know. Like what? Fifteen. Uh, the call. I can also transfer. Like maybe uh, six. Oh, getting closer. Getting closer. Um, what else do we have? Oh yeah, bandages. We I made like a ton of bandages for them. So they need five. Boom! So we completed that. So now we just need to have firewood, other fuel, and the antiseptic. And then we should be good to go. I mean, I can give them the one. Yeah, we're almost there. The lamb knows it's cold. All right. Um, so we are almost done with that. How am I on, like, weight in my backpack? Less than 40 kilos again? Okay, good. So the only things that I need, um, are gonna be... Firewood and the antiseptic. Um, also, before I forget, um, I just saw a Light uh, doing the host. Thanks so much for that. I appreciate that. For hosting the stream. Always... Very much appreciated. Uh, gonna be playing Fesmo on Friday, doing the single player to get the hang of the game. Ah, oh, nice. I've n I've never played it. I wanted to play it, but like... Sometimes it's kind of hard finding people in my time zone that also play it. And, and then also like me having time to play it with them. Like finding people might not be the hardest thing, but then also like... Making the stars align so that we can all uh, enjoy the game together. <laughs> That's sometimes the hardest thing. Um, let's get some sleep. How about eight hours? I hate that they took away auto host. Yeah, I don't understand that. Like, I don't get why suddenly they took that away. Because I feel that hosting was always like a good way to, you know, still create sort of like visibility for other streamers. And I, yeah, I don't know. I don't see why they took that away. Because I noticed like, I, I, I can see like who is hosting me in my dashboard and I noticed that all of a sudden, like, my hosts were... Like, I usually had, like, a, a, a list of people that were hosting me, and all of a sudden, that list was, like, empty. I was like, what is going on? And then I discovered that they took away the auto host, and I was like, why did they do that? Um... What is my time zone? I'm Netherlands, right? Yeah, so I'm in the in in CET, Central European time. Currently, it's um uh, just past midnight. 
If you're in the chat and you want to know my time, I have it on my uh, my talking scene. You can see the time over there. Or you can always do exclamation mark time in the chat. If you are curious what my current time is, you can find it there as well. All right, let's see. Um, so we found some more things here. I think I need to go all the way back to maybe like the Molly's farmhouse or Molly's barn to get some more supplies. Uh, I'm not sure if there was anything in this prepper cache, but like... I think I need to walk quite a bit in order to get like the last couple of supplies that I need, which I'm not too happy with. Um, unless there might be, I mean, Lonely Homestead, maybe there is some buildings here, but I don't think so because I think I've been here before. Um, so I'm guessing I'm going to have to make like a long trip either to like one of these two buildings. Uh, Molly's Farmhouse, I couldn't get inside, so I need to find like either a key or something to get inside. Um... Or maybe even the uh, the tail section of the plane, because I think there were some items there too. So those are going to be some long, difficult trips that I'm going to have to make. Um, I need my auto host script now. Wait, you don't have that anymore, or like, um, because you said recently that they they kind of broke it because they took they changed the API, or did you fix that already? Can I also make... Let's see, I don't think I can make... Um, the things that I still need. No, probably not. I need to fix that. Um, I'm an hour ahead of you. Uh, I'd be willing to play with you if you ever wanted to. I got a Discord. I do have a Discord. Oh, wait, there's the command. Perfect, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I still don't have the game, so I first need to buy it, obviously. But I was like, yeah, I I, I think I'll just gonna buy it if and anyone ever like invites me or if I'm ever gonna be... Um, if it's like, yeah, we can play it now, so that I'm like, okay, I'll just get it now as well. Um, otherwise, I'm, I know myself I'm going to buy it and it's going to sit idly in my Steam library. Because that's not a game I think that I like to play alone, because I don't like scary games. So I don't feel that I want to go into Phasmophobia by myself without anyone else. Uh, so I'm not going to play that alone. <laughs> um, the Webhook API is replaced with another API. Uh, not sure if responses changed a lot. I don't know either. I mean, I know nothing of webhooks. The only thing that I know of webhooks is that I know it for OBS and I, I use it for Discord and that's it. I don't know how they work. I just know that Leon board uses webhooks and OBS uh, uses webhooks. But other than that, I uh, don't ask me. <laughs> um, let's play. Yeah, I, I mean, I would love to, but I, yeah, I mean, I know how busy you are, which is not a call out or like, you know, me trying to be negative. It's just, you know, I know how busy you are and I know how, e how difficult sometimes it can be to, uh, align things. But if you ever have like, you know, in the weekend or something, I usually have some time. So, um, yeah, I would love to play with you guys. All right. I think I'm going to end the game there. Um, I'm, I'm kind of surprised how we only still have 50% completion of the episode. Like we're halfway there, but I think we did do quite a few things. So I'm kind of, I'm a little bit confused. <laughs>